wait. We're supposed to start now. All right. Hey, what's Alec, Alex Hortibiek? Marine Iguana, how's it going? Great Graham, what's up? And the Meerkat is in here too. Uh, Matthew Ziskin, hey, what's up, Nico Maker? Twenty one, Daft Dostoevsky. Daft Daft Dostoevsky. My God, that's a hard name to pronounce. Kisame Hoshigake, how's it going? Kisame Hoshigake. Hoshigake, uh, one of my favorite civs. Hello, prehistorical animal mod today, good sir. Uh, I probably won't do prehistoric animal mod today. Hey, Scotty D, Luke Runnenbaum, the meerkat. Uh, okay, gold. Hello, tater time. Evening, Governor. I was really hoping today would be the day for number two this week. Hello, big guy. <clears throat> I might be a big guy for you. So. We're going to be playing Cleopatra. Some disaster vids. Yeah, I have a disaster vid uh, ready to upload. Well, I have the last few touches to do to it. Can't wait for Civilization 6 to come out tomorrow on PS4. I know, it's kind of exciting. Yo, yo, Hojo Takamune. All right, we'll be playing Cleopatra. I think we'll do a standard size map today. Uh, yesterday we played without disasters, so I might do... Just a normal disaster intensity. I kind of actually really liked the lakes map. Do you guys feel like doing another lakes map? I don't like TSL, so I won't be doing TSL. I, actually, I kind of hate TSL. Let's see. Legendary start position. Sure, let's do legendary start position. Are oh, you trying to watch the game mechanic as well? <laughs> oh, dear. No, I already said we would set disaster intensity to two. You want abundant resources? Sure, we'll do Abundant Resources. Somebody asked for Seven Seas. I haven't played on that map in a while. So we'll do a Seven Seas, Abundant, Legendary. Can I not set the sea level on the Seven Seas map? You know what, I, I, I want to do another lakes map. I enjoyed the lakes map because you can do something interesting on the lakes map. You can go to maximum city states and add an extra two players to fill in the extra space that the lakes map has. And then do low sea level. And just to kind of kick it up a notch, let's have more desert. It'll be a hot temperature. So there'll be less tundra and more desert. How about that? This looks like an interesting game, right? We got 10 players on a standard size lake map with 18 city states, two disaster intensity, abundant resources, legendary start position, hot temperature, low sea level. This seems like it could be an interesting game. Yesterday did we did high sea level. I'm not, I'm not going to change everything because I think if you change everything, it gets too wacky. Having a few things on standard, I think is fine. That way things don't look too wacky. Got 12 players in this game. Oh boy. Do you ever do TSL maps? No, I really don't enjoy TSL maps. The great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization. Thank you so much, Kalo, for saying that. What is my favorite culture is music in Civ 6? The Maori, because it sounds like they're telling you to poop on things. Poop on me. Your charm will establish indestructible alliances with the strongest leaders of the world. Keep your friends close by your side, and you will find yourself untouchable with the glory of Egypt primed to win over the world. 
You will go for a culture victory? That is the plan. I'm going to do a no religion culture victory. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. Okay. This is uh, certainly an interesting start. So let's take a moment to talk about Egypt's bonuses and kind of why that matters for the strategy that we want to do. So the first bonus is your trade routes to other civilizations provide plus four gold for Egypt. That means we want to trade internationally in order to take advantage of this bonus. Other civilizations trade routes to me provide plus two food for them, as in the player trading to me gets plus two food and I get plus two gold. That means we want to encourage people to trade with us using diplomacy. Trading with allies earns twice as many bonus alliance points. That just means we want to have lots of alliances. So this is already pointing me in the direction of a culture, because in culture you want to have allies with people and you want to have trade routes with people in order to get more tourism bonuses. So this already pushes Egypt in a tourism direction. So, as well as kind of a diplomatic game direction, the Idaru gives you a 15% production towards districts and wonders if they are placed next to a river. This is quite helpful, so we are going to want to settle on rivers and make use of as many river tiles as possible. And we don't receive damage from floods. This means we can much earlier in the game start using our rivers for high value improvements and not have to worry about it. We also get the Marianu Chariot Archer. This is a really interesting unit because it opens up a very early game rush where you can kind of take down another civilization. It also makes you very safe in the early game and it's sort of an alternative opener to the Archer opener. We also have the Sphinx, which unlocks the abil builder ability to build the Sphinx. It gives you plus one faith, plus one culture, plus two appeal. That's important for things like national parks. It also gives you faith, which is important for national parks. And it gives you more faith if it's next to a wonder. And wonders also generate tourism. So I'm very much seeing a sort of early warfare into a tourism game right now. Uh, if we are given an opportunity to go for an early war. We also get extra culture once national history is discovered. And it provides tourism after researching flight. I'm sick as hell, but you're streaming Heal Me Potato. I'm sending all of my Healy juice towards you, trains, RC, and more. Hey, Potato, loving the streams, Mandy. Thank you so much, number one, Jazzy. Okay, so let's talk about this starting location. It's pretty weak. Um, I think our best move is to actually move down and across this Plains Hill. The reason for that is... Um, the reason we want to move towards this Plains Hill is because if we settle on a Plains Hill, we get plus one production in our capital from the start of the game. Now, the downside of that is we move away from these nice floodplains. So I could alternatively move here if I wanted to make use of that wheat. Make a farm triangle like right there, for example. Um... Settling on this tile is not very good because it only has access to two 2-2 two, two tiles, whereas this city has access to the silk as well as three 2-1 two, tiles. So this is just a no-brainer move down here to the bottom right. Can you do the industrial zone configuration? I usually don't do that in tourism games. That's exclusively for, well not exclusively, but mostly for science games. Very rarely would I do it in anything but a science game. So we have an opening uh, opening strategy available to us. We can go for early mining in order to rush down for the Mariani, uh, the Mari, Marianu Chariot Archer. I think I could also pick up Animal Husbandry if I were seeing the potential for things like that. But I think we're going to go for mining and we're going to go for an early monument this game. So it'll be like scout into monument. We want to get the scout. Um, we want to get an early monument this game so we can get the military tradition. Now, the alternative way to do that is to go builder slinger or something like that, right? Or, you know, scout builder warrior. That could be alternative, but we'll kind of, we'll play it by ear for now. So I'll just go scout. Very first tribal village. Very nice. Name the cities after Egyptian pharaohs. What is the A to Z challenge? Play every civilization in order from A to Z based on leader name. We are on C. There's a boost for early empire. It's not the greatest one to pick up. Why are you skipping a religion? Okay, I'm skipping a religion because 
Egypt has... So in the very early game, you have sort of a limited amount of things that you can do, right? So one of them is you can go for a religion. One of them is you can rush for an early war. One of them is you can, uh, you know, mass expand. There's like these different early game strategies and they're mutually exclusive. If you go for a religion, you can't go for an early war. If you go for a early war, you can't go for mass expansion. So... By skipping a religion, it opens me up with the ability to go for a very early war. I will still be focusing on faith because this is a culture game, but I'm not worried about actually securing a religion. And this opens me up for some very interesting plays. So our very first scout is about to be finished. I'm going to go to here because I saw a, a barbarian scout come from this direction. It looks like we are up towards the top of the map. We are now going to make the determination about whether or not we go for a builder here. And as I'm looking at things, we should not be working the silk at all. That's actually a mistake on my part. So I think I am going to go for an early builder here because I need food tiles. Uh, I need food and so a farm triangle in here will secure me a lot of food. I might do like a farm on the wheat, a mine on this and a mine on this and this will give me some good tiles. This will probably be a holy site but we're not rushing it. We're not in a hurry to get it. Now, it's important that we don't just blindly go for an early rush. We need to know if we have a target of our early rush. So our exact opening strategy is going to be very dependent upon what we actually see as we explore the map. And right now, I'm not seeing anyone who I can attack. So sort of the Marianu Chariot Archer might not be the direction. But just picking up mining doesn't mean I'm committed to going for the Marianu Chariot Archer. And mining still feeds in because I'm getting a builder so I can improve mines here and give myself a little bit of extra production in the early game. Okay, so there's the barb camp and I do want to clear this out if I can. I'm going to avoid using my scout for this though. There's the boost for foreign trade, which is great. When you find yourself there's our second citizen. I'm going to work that. Now, since I do not see a mining resource that I can improve, and nor do I see another player, because we would see the loyalty indicators on this screen, I'm actually going to switch into more of a Sim City build, which involves going for animal husbandry just so we have access to archers if we need, and then more heavily relies on settlers. It is not wisdom. It is not. Now, how important is a Pantheon here? I'm going to plug this in because if I can secure the um, Settler Pantheon, that's a really, really nice. It's a really nice advantage. I'm also going to pick up Discipline here so that my units have higher combat strength against Barbarians. Now, there's Canada. Canada is far... He's actually close enough to go to war. But he's also, clo he's also far enough that I don't have to go to war with him. So I think... Um, this is going to be a very passive game where I'm not going for an early war because he would have had to have been a little bit closer and the terrain in between us is a little bit too difficult to traverse with an army. So I'm just going to skip that. So I would like an early trader. I would like craftsmanship. So I think what we'll do is we'll get to work on the foreign trade because that's a great economic boon early game. It gives you a lot of gold. Remember, Egypt has better trade routes than normal civilizations. So we do want to be trading early if possible. Too bad it's all desert. I mean, it's still settleable, right? Because these can be used for um, seaside resorts, I believe. Let me double check that. side they only need to be adjacent to can you build them adjacent to lakes yeah I think you can build them adjacent to, I think I think I can put seaside resorts all in here so this is actually a perfectly fine place to settle probably won't be my first settlement because it is desert and it's kind of weak in, in that way
I'm gonna do a little loop around if I can. So here's my first build. And the very first tile I want to improve is this wheat. Now, I'm a little bit light on army, so I think I might go just grab myself a another warrior. I think this time, actually, I'm feeling very secure, so I'm going to go second scout into settler. I don't see anything that threatens me right now, except for this barb camp, of course. We'll put a farm here. That'll give me the boost for irrigation. More importantly, it gives me extra food so I can justify working this tile more. Lots of tundra up here. So he actually came out and attacked me, which opens me up to clear the barb camp. Now there is a warrior over here who will attack me, but I should survive and promote and then be able to kill that warrior. And then that'll be two of the three uh, barbarian units that I need to kill in order to grab bronze working. We have plenty of gold. It would be nice to get irrigation early here this game, so I'm glad I do have the boost for it. So we just take the promotion as expected and now we should win that fight fairly handily because we get the heal and the combat strength boost we'll place a mine here that is a nice plus one production plus one food plus one production in this city is great and then we'll be able to place down another one i might actually improve the stone here because it's on a flat land and improving that stone will give me the boost for masonry, which opens me up to building the pyramids. And I would like to build the pyramids if I can. I might even settle a city down here specifically for the purpose of building the pyramids. And there we go. We killed him. I mean, you can fast forward a live stream when you're watching the VOD after it's been uploaded. So that's annoying. I'm going to send my scout to head off their scout and try to send it in a different direction. And I'm going to start walking my warrior in that direction. I need um, I need another military unit in a big way. And it'll probably be a warrior purchase. Since I built a builder, I'll purchase a warrior. I could purchase the slinger and send it over here, actually. And purchasing the slinger would allow me to get the boost for archery. So I think that works out pretty well. Just kind of rearranging how we use our gold in the early game. I would love to build the Great Bath this game. But I don't think that's what we're going to do. I would love to get irrigation fairly early. Um, but I might get to work on masonry. Because getting the early pyramids would be a big deal. I love getting early pyramids in my tourism games. Because you need a lot of builders in a tourism game. And I have the boost for masonry now as well. But I think after I get masonry, I'm kind of forced to get a campus in one of my cities. I could go campus first. Since I won't be settling... No, this works out better. Hey, Ian Childs. Tourism victory, religious victory turned off. No, no, no. Tourism, religious victory is still turned off. I'm just not going for a religion like I would normally do in my tourism games. That's the difference here. So there are actually horses up here, which makes me kind of want to settle up here first. If I settle on the horses, that'll secure me horses that I can sell to the AI. Now, I didn't get a delegation with Canada, but he can't declare surprise wars anyway, so... I mean, it's fine if he if he's not too happy with me. So I'm going to step here to prevent this slinger from escaping to the east. I'm going to bring... Sorry, not the slinger, the scout. I'm going to bring the slinger down to attack. Now, the only tile... This scout can't escape now, and I will get my third barbarian kill. And my um, my boost for archery, which is exactly what I want. Let's get this guy into the city to heal faster, and then we'll clear out this barb camp. So he'll probably run to the left like I expected. I'll come over here and kill him. There's a boost for archery and bronze working. So we've got a lot of tech boosts early, which is a great start. So this guy's a bit of a problem. I need to herd him towards my warrior. Because he's spotted my city and I can't let him get back to his barb camp. There's another barb camp over here. And we have secured ourselves a trader. But we can't afford to purchase one. I could hard build it. It's only five turns. I 
Let's go ahead and attack here. And I'll step here because no matter where the scout goes, this warrior will get an attack. Now, I'm going to go for early settling, which is going to involve getting early empire. Really, the next thing should be a monument. I need a monument and a trader up in a big way. So I'm going to step onto this defensive terrain and this spearman will come towards me. And then I'll come around the back with my scout to try and clear the camp while the spearman is away. Because spearmen, for some reason, just have a hard on for going for. Oh. That's unfortunate. But we did meet Hattusa and we were not the first to meet Hattusa. So like I expected... Scout ran this way. So we're guaranteed an attack on him and we forced him in a different direction than towards his barb camp. Potatoes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. So his only escape route is here and a hit from both of these units should kill. Hey, the Nine of Spades. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel, dude. Do you have a favorite sieve? I do not have a favorite sieve. So let's go ahead and kill this. And clear it with the scout. We get the 30 gold as well as uh, any other benefits that it gives like era score. So the great bath has been built. So this, in theory, this should kill this scout. And so we carefully used our units to manipulate his position and beat him. Now I want to settle right here. And I want to settle right here because this opens up the possibility of a fairly early um, pyramid using Magnus. So I'm going to use you to scout a bit. You're just going to heal up. These guys both need to heal up now. I'm going to have you stay there, actually. You're coming back to heal. You're coming back to heal. Deal sales out for the Switch. Have you ever considered doing a combat tutorial? I did see a, uh, your comment, I believe. You commented asking me to do that. And uh, I might do a combat tutorial. That's a little bit more abstract and difficult to do. Um, and I'm not really sure how I would explain it just yet. We cross the river. We settle there. Let's get into the city because you heal faster inside the city. And this warrior isn't under major pressure to be anywhere. So there's Stonehenge gone. Okay. We also met Harold and we didn't send him a delegation. So let's settle in place. And then go see if we can do a bit of exploring of his territory. Now this place, I think... Let's have a look at what you're working. You're working a 2-2 two -two tile. That's perfect. We almost have a Pantheon. We're very, very close to getting a Pantheon. Tom, thank you so much for becoming a true spuddy. I really appreciate that. So I think an early trader here would be perfect. So I'm going to go for the early trader. I would love another builder, but I'm kind of just... Oh, this, this trader would take a very long time. Actually, the right move is a builder. And I'll get the trader in my capital. Yeah, that works better for me. Thank, thanks again, Tom. I really appreciate you becoming a member of the channel. What are the main things you need to have for a tourism gain? Uh, you need to have a lot of theater squares. You need to have an okay science production. And you need to have a lot of culture production. And you need to have a lot of tourism generation. And faith and all these sorts of other things work well uh, with all that. You also need to have good diplomacy, which I'm kind of failing at right now. But at this phase of the game, I'm not worried about Norway declaring war. Okay, so a barb camp appeared up here. That means I need to redirect my units up to help deal with that. A good bit of exploration. Hey, Gabrielle Taylor. How's it going? Lou May, nice to meet you too. Oh. A combat tutorial would involve all the rules or what to build to fight. I mean, a combat tutorial, would it's just a hard concept to really grasp, I think, to, to educate people. Alexei Krugelov has become a true spuddy. Thank you so much, Alexei. I appreciate you. What does it take for you not to take the Free Settler Pantheon? Um, if I have a really good reason not to take it. 
take it. In this particular instance, every incentive in the game is kind of pushing me towards taking it. So somehow this guy has seen my city, so I'm going to try to block him from getting back to his barb camp, and hopefully I can kill him. I don't know how he managed to see my city, but that's okay. Fine. He has the alert thing, which is weird. So now we have the potential to internationally trade with Norway, which I think I would like to do. Trading with Norway wouldn't be too terrible. Back over the pack. So I'm just going to take a moment to heal. You'll hit that guy, and I'm pretty sure no matter where he runs, he's dead from my slinger. Now, in terms of choosing our next civic, we're going to pick up craftsmanship, and we need to get to work on a specialty district. We have our pantheon. Is the settler pantheon available? The settler pantheon is not available. So let's have a look and see what other things we could pick up. Um, River Goddess is really, really good. Divine Spark is really, really good for a culture game, because it gives you the extra riders. Culture from Pastures is pretty good here. We have a couple of Pastures. We have a few over here, actually. Food and Production from Camps doesn't look so great. We have horses in our capital, so we would love to get another builder. What is the map size? This is a standard map size. Eight player, but I have ten players on the map. Um, Fire Goddess. There's not a whole lot of volcanoes near me. I do have some quarries, so... The um, stone circles wouldn't be terrible. Fishing boat pantheon would be great for some of the cities settled on this inland sea. I'm thinking river goddess just gives me the ability to get a lot of housing out of my uh, holy sites. So this might be something I pick up. The other thing is... The Lady of the Reeds and Marshes would make these floodplains tiles really, really great and make this entire area really, really valuable. So I think in the in this particular instance, I'm going to take Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. Um, is this not a floodplain? Where's my plus one production? Hello? Marsh oasis and desert floodplains. Oh, it's only marsh. Oh, oh, that was a mistake then. That was a big mistake. I thought it applied to all floodplains. Well, uh, that was a huge mistake. I should have just gone for the river goddess. I just had a brain fart there and like misread the pantheon. Oh, well. I almost never picked that one, so it's not a big deal. Got a craftsman would have been way better too. Okay, open borders. That's good. I'm going to see if I can get open borders with him as well. Clear that. I would love... Wait, I can't trade with Norway? Maybe from Memphis I can trade with Norway. Okay, there is some cities down here. Now, I want more settlers. I would love a builder to improve these horses too. Make sure we're working that because we want the food over anything else. I would love a builder. I would love settlers. I don't have Early Empire plugged in, so I'm going to grab a Builder really quick. Oh, and I forgot to change my government. How much is it to change it? It's only 25 gold. We'll change that for plus one production in all cities. Reload? Nah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean... Problem is, I have my autosave interval set to four turns, so I'd have to redo quite a few turns. I'll redo the Pantheon, because I just, I had a brain fart and clicked the wrong one. Would have been far better to get River Goddess, because then that means I can take advantage of a lot of, e yeah, River Goddess is obviously the best Pantheon. I had a brain. All right, everyone is spamming reload. Okay, fine. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the stone age, like, it's like, taking his first Memphis, steps, Egypt. You have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. Okay, fine, we're reloading, right? You can stop spamming reload in chat now, all right? I have been bullied into reloading the game. There will be those who underestimate you, but you are cunning and full of tricks, Queen Cleopatra. Now, the comments on the video are going to be, look at this loser who reloads his games like a save scummer. This is icon messed up. No, his one's all red. God of Craftsman is good here. Um, I agree.
but I, th I think I like River Goddess because it means if I need, ha like, it's a way for me to get early housing without having to invest, like, a crazy amount of stuff in. Let me chase this guy. Maybe you'll chase him into this guy. So this time... So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking either um, got a craftsman, right? That's plus one production and plus one faith from these horse tiles, which is, like, really, really great. River Goddess means that when I do choose to build my holy sites to generate faith, I can get a double whammy because Egypt gets 15% production towards districts if they're placed next to a river. So this just means that I'm incentivized to build like holy sites right here, for example, which will be built 15% faster and give me two amenities and two housing. Right, so that seems like a pretty good district to get built up. I'm not going for a religion, but I do want to have really good faith generation. So this would just give me an option. It doesn't help me right now is the problem. Whereas something like, for example, Got a Craftsman does help me now. And any strategic resources that I reveal later on in the game, and I have quite a few so far, would um, be more benefit to me. How early do you start to place Sphinx? I place them as early as it makes sense to, based on the context of the game that I'm playing. So I think it'll just be more interesting if I go for River Goddess, so that's what I'm going to take. All right, mutual open borders for Canada. I'm going to see if I can get open borders with um, Norway as well. Now, hopefully I can trade with Norway. Let's talk to Norway. How would you like to do open borders? He'll give me a bit of cash. And that'll improve our relations slightly, right? So I'm going to look for a piece of defensive terrain to hide in to block these units from coming down to annoy me down here. We have our trader up. I would love to get another settler. So I'm going to work on that settler. No, I'll go builder into settler. And then... When I get God of Craftsman, I'll swap out my current thing for Settler. So I'm going to actually push this scout to the north if I can, up towards my warrior. Clear the encampment. There's three error scores. Secured ourselves a normal age. So I actually have plenty of room. I have plenty of plenty of room. I, thought Clay must I want you to go away. I'm going to have him heal in place because it's fog busting, preventing barbarian encampments appearing too close to me. Now I'm worried about trading here because there is a barbarian in the area. But trading with Nidoros, well, trading with Hattusa is closer and safer. But trading with Nidoros gets me a really good relationship with Norway because I'll be trading with him, which gives you a bonus to your relationship with an AI. Okay, so he chose to attack me. I can take this promotion now. I'll come back down this way. He needs you to attack him to get him to maybe run away. Canada is probably open to friendship. Send him a delegation. So I sent him a delegation. After riding, we're going to pick up irrigation. I think Norway going to be distinctly impressed with, unimpressed with you. Reload, you never got the policy change in governor. Uh, I need to change. Well, the governor isn't important right now because I don't plan to do anything with the governor until this builder is finished, right? So, like, the governor isn't important because he's just going into Memphis and I don't plan to do anything with that governor until I'm building the pyramids. Unless the pyramids were literally just built. Ah, pyramids were literally just built, so that's not a big deal. Had I checked the pyramids were already built, I would have actually gone for Pingala. Um, but I'm going to now instead reassign Magnus to the capital. And I will reassign, we'll change our government here next turn. The reason I didn't change my government is because I'm building a builder. I totally should have the builder card plugged in right now. But that's neither here nor there. Take your delegation, thank you. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship. Okay, so there is craftsmanship. Such as wickerwork, picnic basket skill. 
So I could plug in the builder card, but instead I'm going to plug in the settler card. Urban planning, maybe? I do need to build a district, but I need, I, I'm really delayed on my settlers, so I need to get the colonization card going. State workforce, nice and early. Another barb camp appeared over here. This is really bad. I need to get this out of the way because it's literally on the path of my set. Like, God, like, what is this? Barb like, I feel like I've been getting absolutely shit on by barbarians. And why would you stand there? So a little trick. Fortify, then click on your unit. Cancel the fortification. You get to keep the fortification bonus. Like, this guy stepped on the perfect tile to delay me getting across the river. You could look first. The barbarian encampment appeared after I placed the trade route, dude. I don't know if you noticed the indication that said, like, there was literally a scout standing beside the barbarian encampment. That should be a big indicator that it was new. Because scouts typically don't just stand around their barb camp unless they've already been exploring. Okay, cool. Dedication. I'm going to go ahead and take free inquiry. We got ourselves a builder. Time for settlers. These are pretty slow to settle in this game, but that's okay. God, that's annoying. I wish they would like... This is like the pain of the inevitability of this. I wish I could cancel this trade route and I'm just going to lose it now. That's uh, extremely aggravating. Maybe I can bait him into attacking one of my units instead of pillaging. Please don't pillage the trade route. Please. Where is this horseman coming from? Why is there a horseman spawning on this particular turn? That's just annoying. We should be able to kill this scout with our scout. Chop out a settler. Please don't pillage. Like, what are, what are the odds of the timing on that, dude? I feel, that, that, feels, that feels like the game was conspiring against me. So what I'll do is I'll chop out builders... Chop out a couple settlers in here using these two chops. And then once irrigation is finished, I'll re-improve this. I got a few goody huts, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, I, I feel like I just got screwed, to be honest. Now, I mean, I did take a riskier trade route. That's a fair point. I should have just traded with Hattusa. And in fact, I'm just going to purchase another trader because that trader needs to be online. All right, we killed that scout. That's good. We're going to harvest this, not this turn, but next turn. And you're holding on until Magnus is transported over. Good kill. Get me another settler. Chop. You're going to come to the north. I think we're going to settle on the horses. You're waiting. Trade with Hattusa. It's worth science. Need to head this guy off. And block him from getting... I need to force him to the south. Let me chop here. Why would I restart? We're fine. We lost a single trader. It's like not a big deal. 
We're a bit behind because we don't have Pingala early, but that's fine. Now I'm going to unlock bronze working because that'll reveal iron. I can almost sell some horses. How would you like to buy 10 horses from me? You'll give me two gold per turn. I'll take that two gold per turn. That's 60 gold. There is another settler. This one is settling on that tile. Next settler, I think, comes down here to the south. Right there. There's a really great campus in here. Right here on this forest tile. I want to settle there. Or do I want to settle there? I want my holy site next to a river. So I think the campus holy site will go like here or something. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna rush a campus in this city, then I'm probably gonna to want to purchase a builder down there. And now this city has already built its settlers, so we're gonna move Magnus to Memphis. And we're going to build a builder in here to send it to Memphis so we can do more chopping. Uh, you must name a city Russell. I think you've you've already renamed a whole bunch of cities, um, Princess Twilight Sparkle. So I'm going to let other people name cities. What is your favorite food? It kind of depends on my mood. Depends on what I feel like eating. So we're going to settle on the horses. Is is on the horses the right move here? I think it is. And I really should unlock astrology at this point. I'm feeling very thinly defended. When's my next government change? In two turns. So I'm probably going to go ahead and put some turns into a, an extra slinger. I'm, I'm like feeling like I have a lot of land to defend and not enough units. So I'm going to get myself a slinger in here. Uh, settle a marriage for harbor bonus and lighthouse housing. Uh, we already have a source of housing from our holy sites, so I think we don't need that. Waiting for Magnus to be established to start chopping in here. I'm going to have you fortify on this tile because a fortified scout should win uh, uh, against a warrior attacking into him. A strong economy. Right, there is state workforce. More importantly, I can change my government policy to a GOG. That does mean my scout has a lower chance of winning, but that's fine. We're working on settlers. Now, I could purchase a monument or I could purchase a builder. Purchasing the monument would get me up to political philosophy sooner, a lot sooner. Um, so that's a tough choice to make. I'm building a builder. I think purchasing the monument is the right move. Should settle up north by the horses and whales? Well, we will. We'll settle everywhere eventually. We just, you know, we'll settle the land, but we want to settle in a way that makes sense, right? Our next city is probably going to be over here because we're looking to get all these chops as well as access to the citrus luxury. So if we settle on the citrus, then we have access to a whole bunch of forest chops that we can use to generate more settlers using magnets. There's got to be like a logical chain to how we do things. Hattusa is under attack, apparently. One more turn until Magnus. We're going to settle here. This city is not being settled for... Uh, thingies. We're going to build a monument, send this builder to chop this forest, put a campus on that tile. That's a plus three campus. I could buy this and put this here. I could flip the campus on Holy Site. I would have to spend gold on that, and I don't want to do that. So I think we're going to walk the builder down here, chop this, and then send it to Memphis. 
improve the wine in Memphis? I will. Um, when the time comes. Right now, I'm these other charges are better spent getting settlers out. I could improve this to sell the silk. So that brought it down to nine turns, and then I'll harvest the stone. So now the government plaza is a big deal. I don't want to buy tiles to place things. I'm thinking of buying this tile because this will make both these two districts that I plan to build here much better. And then I can actually move that somewhere else if I want to. So I definitely want the government plaza. Plus four to the east in Apu. Here? Right, but I just placed my government plaza here. So let me explain why I'm putting this here. All right. So this will be a campus. This campus will get plus one, plus two for a total of plus three. I will then be placing a holy site here. So this campus will in fact be plus four. I'll just add a plus one. Then this government plaza is going here, which will be another plus one. Then some other infrastructure will likely go here. Not sure what it is yet, but it might be like, for example, a theater square. So this will actually be a plus six campus. Whereas if I place it here, I get the plus four earlier. But you, you see where I'm going with this? Spain spamming missionaries already? Yeah. That's partially why I kind of made the game a little bit bigger and skipped a religion. It's because the AI tends to spam. Okay, there's eight gold per turn for my silk from Canada. Norway pays six. Congo pays not very much. Spain pays three. So it looks like Canada is the best person to sell my silk to because I'll get eight gold per turn, which is a big deal. So I'm going to harvest this to finish this settler. This settler is going to go there. We're going to work on another settler. Uh, I should have, and I completely forgot to do this, is get provision on Magnus. And then I want to use my next government titles on um, Pingala. Isn't your culture game in danger if the Congo is around? Yeah, pretty much, but like, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. I knew the risks going into a larger game. So I was really hoping that this slinger would be done by now. And I was also planning on build, purchasing a builder in here. So this builder charge will actually go to doing this plantation now. Yeah, I think that now it's time to do the plantation. And then we'll do a couple of chops. We'll do probably two more chops in here. So that'll be the per builder purchase chop chop. This will leave this all to be very flat, but that's fine because the goal of the city was to get our settlers. Then I will, well, it was also to get the, the pyramids, but, you know, that plan kind of went to the wayside when someone else built it. Um, I think the Congo was the second. No, 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 sorry. It wasn't the, was it Canada? Do you want wine? Canada has no income. What about Spain? You want to buy my wine? You'll pay three gold per turn. I think Norway already has wine. He does. So... Probably Philip will buy my wine. And he might actually also buy my horses. Let's make sure we get open borders with everyone just to have a slightly better relationship with everyone. You give me a bit of cash. Okay. Name one of your cities Yeet. Yeah, there are barbs to the north and I will need to deal with that. But I have a slinger on the way that should be able to deal with most of these problems. You're fortified and defensive terrain. You might have to retreat. Bronze is the Settle on this and then we want to look for someone to sell it to. You'll give me good gold, but I'd like to get gold per turn. Uh, Canada actually does still give a better deal. Congo. 
you already have oranges so Canada gives the best deal at the current phase of the game purchase that builder I'm trying to force the scout down to the south okay so this city is going to slowly build a builder The Canadian trade for the wine was better. Yeah, it's like, I'm not gonna like stress that hard over perfect optimization. As long as I'm getting a good deal, I'm fairly happy. As long as the deal is reasonable. So I'm gonna harvest to finish the monument. Then I'll feel safe placing the campus. Then this builder will probably come and prove the iron. And then I'll probably come back and get iron working so that I can upgrade my guy to a swordsman as well as start, start selling iron. Have you already chosen a victory? Well, the goal is to go for a culture victory. Now, whether that works out, who knows? All right, so we're going to harvest here. And then we'll harvest here. So government plans are completed. We've got 10 turns until the next thing. Um, I think a third slinger would be good to grab in here. So let's do some damage like this. You're going to work on a monument. No, you're going to work on a builder. I want to chop out as many settlers as possible. Then I'm going to appoint Pingala, place him in Rack of Death. I'll probably put another holy site here just to get as much sort of advantage. Is that, is that sensible? I don't think so, actually. Better to put something else here and a holy site fits better up here. As I don't even know if you take over a save of religion and produce predator, do you win a religious victory? No, you do not. If I recall correctly, you actually end up losing the game, which is a bit weird, but. Okay, so the north is defended. And you're going to take a moment to heal. Step there. Step into the city and heal. Another settler. So this is my next city to start producing settlers. So let's reassign Magnus to Thebes. You just finished your settler. Let's go ahead and get the granary in here. Well, granary is not that important compared to a monument. Now, where is my next city? Ideally, another city would go up here to the north. You would take a long while to walk over there, but it would be a good city, especially if I settled on this plains hill. Although, if I stepped one tile to the north, I could aqueduct into this. But that's a nice farm triangle if I settle on that. Yeah, so we'll go for the hill. We'll send you up in that direction. Troll? What? Who's trolling? Uh, do you have a Discord for members? There is a Discord. It should be linked in the description of the live stream. Is it a small map? It's a standard size map. How would you go about switching victory conditions from a culture victory? Uh, it really depends on the game that I'm in. Like, it's all very situational stuff. Let's send a slinger out this way to defend this area of the map from barbarians. We completed a slinger in here. I would like more builders. Let's make sure we're working good food in here. Because food is my priority as it stands. Um, food is more important to me than anything. So I'm going to say food and production prioritize. Yeah, so food and production are my priorities in this city. Um, that seems fine. So in terms of empire-wide development, builders right now are really, really important for me. The ancient walls would give me the boost towards engineering. 
I'm not enjoying Civ 5. Is Civ 6 better? I have played a lot of 2 and 4 in the past. I think it's really, like, I really have a hard time making those kind of recommendations for people because that really does come down to personal choice. I think lots of builders early in this game actually are going to be a huge benefit to me. Especially since I'm feeling fairly safe uh, as it currently stands. Thank you so much, RTK142. I really appreciate your donation. Your $2 super chat. That is a lot of iron, I agree. So what are we talking in terms of... So what... We have one build charge left in this guy. What is the builder charge that I could spend that would give me the best uh, improvement to my empire-wide development? Well, let's go ahead and sell this guy. Uh, 13 horses. You actually can't afford 13. So how about if I gave you 7? You'll give me 20 gold. Okay, let's see if we can sell off some of our resources here. Let's give Spain another 20. He'll give me three gold per turn. Brilliant. How would you like to buy nine horses? He'll give me two gold per turn. How would you like to buy 13? Well, I'm going to keep the first bit of iron for myself, actually. Hey, short finger. Just wanted to say thanks for the great content and tips. Have a drink on me. Thank you so much for the ten dollar uh, super chat, uh, short finger PM. I really appreciate that. So, what is the best tile improvement that I can do with this guy? And it's probably to get this wine online because I can sell that to the AI and re sort of make back some of the cost of improving it. Let's go ahead and put you here to fog bust and prevent any barbarians from appearing out of the fog of war to be annoying. Although, now that I'm looking at it, the best thing I can do is actually chop out a builder. Now that I've sort of looked at this a little bit more clearly, very clearly chopping out a builder is the best move. Because then I can start chopping out settlers. Or I could just purchase a builder. That works better. Okay, so we are going to want a lot of trade routes this game. I think I'm going to pick up archery first. I'm going to go for currency. So we can build our holy site here once the city is grown, and it'll be grown after that builder. Hey, Jessica Grindle, how's it going? Uh, Hugo, Stacks of Doom are okay in my book, but I appreciate the one tile run. First time watching you live, you're one of the best, you are the best Civ player from Pakistan. Thank you so much, Muzamil Ijaz. Uh, I can only recommend getting into Civ 6 if you feel like you're playing in the past too long. A lot of stuff changes. Rip Hattusa. Yeah, Rip Hattusa. I probably could have stolen this if I was like paying full attention to it. But a scientific city-state dying isn't really high on my agenda. Am I the only one not having a long-term member icons show up right? I think you are uh, the only person having that issue, Charles. So I'm not sure how I can help you. My exploration has been really poor, but that's because it's a very open map and I want to make sure my borders are secure from barbarian invasions. Um, name is City Russell. Twilight Sparkle, you've asked that question many times. And the answer will remain a resounding maybe. I have no strong feelings one way or another. All right, so we're going to improve that wine and then have a quick look around to see if anyone wants to buy that wine. You already have wine, okay. Spain does not have wine. They'll pay only one gold because I think I already sold them wine. Congo would give me basically their entire economy for wine, which, you know, I can understand. I'm a big fan of wine myself. And then I sell this to Canada. It'll give me two gold per turn. Okay, so chop, chop, chop. Do a whole bunch of chopping. I might wait until I have political philosophy before I start chopping in here. But Jessica just said to me, your icon is all jacked up. Uh, worth appointing Liang if you're going builder heavy? Yes. However, appointing Pingala is far more important. Uh, like astronomically more important. Liang would be really, really good. However, I have a limited number of builder charges and they're all spoken for. What I w well, here's my current strategy. I will be promoting connoisseur and researcher. Uh, probably researcher first, then connoisseur. And then I'll be promoting Liang. In fact, I might actually go for a connoisseur first so I can get the second. Because that'll actually let me get the next builder charge a little bit. Or the next governor title a little bit quicker. But we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear. So I'm going to wait. I see a broken image saying she's at one year, ten months. Potato McWine. I have a... Okay. Uh, I see that too... But I haven't been a member for a year. That's a bit odd. 
Okay, so he wants to buy all this. What if we did mutual open borders and you gave me this and I didn't sell you the iron because I want to keep the iron to upgrade my own swordsman when the time comes. And I want to avoid giving the AI swordsman before they naturally get them. This is placed. We have 300 gold in the bank. Okay, I want you back one tile. To keep this fog under control. A thousand year flood, seven tiles improved. There's political philosophy. We are going to go for classical republic. With classical republic, we're going to plug in urban planning, ilkum, and charismatic leader. These are the three sort of sim city things. So we can build settlers and builders really efficiently. And now that I have the production bonus for settlers, I'm going to harvest here and that'll overflow into a settler and then I can do more chopping than previously uh, thought possible. I'm also going to buy myself another builder in here so I can keep chopping at an extremely high rate and get these settlers out as fast as possible. So it's turn 71 and I have one, two, three, four, five, six settlers out. So I'm doing really, really well. About 10 turns per settler is a good metric. I'm currently at just slightly over 10 turns. And now I wanna pick up stuff like recorded history and defensive tactics. And I also wanna get started on my theater squares. So I'm probably gonna pick drama and poetry into recorded history. And then games of recreation into defensive tactics. And then after games and recreation, we'll probably go to feudalism. So that's the, that's, this is the pathway we're looking for. We're going to drama and poetry because we want to start generating great people. Uh, there's already some people with... Yeah, Congo is a pain in the ass for that. In fact, he probably already has a great writer taken. Yeah, look at that. It's a different player, though. Who is that other player that took that great writer? Let's see. 3.4 great writer points per turn. So that is somebody who gets great writer points. Okay, I'm not sure who that would be, but I need to start I need to start competing with that now. The longer we wait on that, the harder it's gonna be. Why is Canadian Anthem playing in the game? Because Canada is in the game. Okay, another builder finished. I really want the ancestral hall. It'll take 11 turns. It'll give me free builders. You go there. You go there. Buy that tile. You chop. Now this builder is going to be doing what? What is your job? Probably to just look around and look for good tiles to improve. Um, these are great, but growth is not a strong point of this city. I think I'd prioritize growth over anything else. The A to Z challenge is, is in order of the leader names. Boom, 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 I want you in my room, etc. Okay, um, next settler to the north, perhaps, or to here to secure this desert. We should, in theory, be able to get out one more settler in this city. And then we'll come back over here to chop this out. So if I'm coming back over here, that means these settlers will be built over here. So I should settle this way. The problem with this is the loyalty is pretty bad. And I would need 
to put my Pingala over there for a while, which would suck because I wouldn't be getting as much science and culture out of him, but that's fine. And then I can replace him with something else later. All right, Thebes, can I afford to get another settler in here? I think I can. They're 260 production now. A scout could take Hattusa. Oh my god, you're right. Let's see if we can get a scout down here to take Hattusa. I didn't even notice that. I thought that was already dead. I should really, really, I should really, really pay attention to that more. But if I take Hattusa, I'm actually kind of okay with it. Let's buy that tile. You come this way, you go there. We'll double, we'll chop, chop, and then chop. Now, I've got one more build charge in here. And I think I might use that on the oranges. Orange, you glad I'm not a banana? Okay, this city is growing quite well. I have two build charges to play with. I think getting a couple of tile improvements here would make sense. So, for example, the horses. All right, this is a problem. So I need you to retreat. You to go there. And you to block. Wealth consists. One of these guys dies. I don't know who it is, but one of them does. Let's get our iron working now. So trade-wise, I think it's good to start trading with you. Let's renew friendship. Uh, Jesus, is that a skirmisher already? Yeah, it's 75 turns in. It's about the time they start to appear. and I don't have my archers up yet. So bit of a sticky wicket. So that settler will be done in four turns. I have a couple of bill charges left. You're going to grow to those horses, so I'll, I'll at least leave you with a couple of tile improvements to give the city the, the fighting chance it needs. What, 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 either the scout or the slinger will die. I'm not sure which. Okay, I was really hoping that it would be the scout, but it was not to be. This is going to spawn a massive invasion now of swordsmen and stuff that I really don't want to deal with, but I have to. So now I need to bring my own swordsmen over there. It's going to take a very long time. Uh, I'm going to have to start using my gold for this. It's annoying. It is what it is. So in theory, I might be able to steal that city. Unfortunately, I have to reassign Pingala over to Swinet just to keep it safe for a while. We'll go for the monument in here for the loyalty. Uh, Greece is Gorgo and Pericles. India is Chandra Gupta and Gandhi. Both UK and France. Valor are the only one real book. Can you wait to settle until the hall is done? Eight turns to wait on that settle? I think that's way too long. So I definitely have stretched my military a little bit too thin. I need to work on that. Um, let's go ahead and do some trading. Make sure that we have open borders with everyone. Should have open borders with most people. He's willing to trade quite a lot for those open borders. Already have open borders with you. Already have open borders with you, and already have open borders with you. So let's go ahead and see who will buy strategic, well, not make demands, who will buy strategics off me. So let's go ahead and sell you 20 iron. That's not as much iron as I had planned to sell you. You'll give me three gold, and then I'll also give you an additional six iron. You're also going to buy 20 horses off me, three gold per turn. What if I gave you an additional eight? There we go. Now, do I have any things that you want to buy? Not really. Okay, so we're good. The economy is doing very healthy from selling things to the AI. 
Really like your game, GameStop, man. I'd love to see a live stream that you're playing against other save YouTubers. Uh, maybe that'll happen. No promises. Uh, apologies, I will look elsewhere. So that'll give me diplomatic favor that I can sell to the AI. Even if I don't meet his demands. Oh, man. The timing. The absolute timing on this crossbowman appearing on the turn. That I was going to try. Dude, do I just have the worst look in existence? So I'm going to need to get an archer here to hit the city and then attack with the slinger. The absolute timing. I have the worst look. It's actually confirmed. The crossbowman appeared to bring the combat strength of the city up. And then a, a warrior appears. What is this madness? Alright, so we're going to declare war. Now, you might be able to kill this, but with the support of an archer, you will definitely snipe this. So, my timing was actually incredible. <laughs> I have the best timing ever, confirmed. Best luck ever. No, where did this... Like, the second I take units away from guarding the north, like, s barbarian scouts appear. Like, this is just why I, you have to be so careful. I propose you name a city as Russell. You can keep trying, buddy. I'm being denounced by Norway. That's really bad. And so is the Congo denouncing me. All right, so I get... Okay, everyone is denouncing me. So now I need to build a military. Um, which is really, really unfortunate because I don't want to do that. Forgot to reassign Magnus over to my uh, is it Sace, yeah. Chop out a swordsman first. Um, we have our campus completed in here. City has almost no food. Let's get the library first for the extra science. Science is looking great now. Uh, this is worrying. He's going to be able to declare a war very, very soon. Let's get some archers on the go. Yeah, they're pretty salty about the city-state, which is fine. It was, it was just like the straw that broke the camel's back. They needed an excuse to denounce me. Let's go ahead and pick up the Mariani Chariot Archer. So I'll probably place the Sphinx and the Mariani Chariot Archer in the next era to get myself as much era score as possible. So I really don't want to do this, but I have to chop out a swordsman here. Oh, I didn't have a GOG plugged in. That's a mistake. I should have waited a turn. Oh, well. I could reload, but it's, uh, I thought I had the card plugged in, but I just, you know, did a dumb thing. It's not a big deal. So, now that I captured Hattusa... I can actually check the loyalty. We've got plus 11, which means I should be able to reassign Pingala to the capital. Uh, 
So now I need to work on my theater squares. Um, so I think... I think I'll place one right here. Potential for holy sites and stuff like that. Yeah. I was planning on putting it here, which I guess I'll still put it there. It's fine. The wicked king so there's the Chocolate Hills. I seem to be finding this in almost every game that I play these days. Sometimes the wheel There's the Mariani Chariot Archer. Hit him. Well, that's obnoxious. Two of those guys now are coming for me. I have gold in the bank, so I can purchase things if need be. Let's go ahead and get Horseman. Horseman might be helpful here to kind of clear this out. Um... Head there to chop. Does general stacking work in Gathering Storm? No. Settle right here looks good to me. Monument first. I really don't want to be standing in the marsh when this guy hits me. Because he does 40 damage. Looks like he's going to try and settle in there. I could cock block that with a unit. Don't know if I'll make it in time, but I'll try to cock block this. Ancestral Hall is finished. I should have waited a turn on that city settlement. That was a mistake. But now I'm going to get myself a holy site. Well, what's more important, the holy site or the theater square? I think the theater square is actually more important here. As much as I need to be working on... There we go. So I'm not going to get as many settlers out of this city as I had planned. But I will still get some. I have two chops available. Which will maybe get me another settler. Let's promote you with the Connoisseur promotion, because my culture is a bit weak right now. And you'll be established in two turns. That's fine, that builder can do what he does. I want to turn you into a swordsman, so my military score looks a bit more threatening. Right now my military score is very non-threatening. And I'm also up against crossbowmen, which is kind of scary too. Having a slow start here. But it will start to accelerate. Swordsman available. I'm feeling a little bit more secure up here now. We have a dedication available. I'm thinking free inquiry is the right one because tech boosts are the most easy to get. Choose a research. Let's pick up apprenticeship for the extra plus one production from mines. We have a few mines throughout our empire. Should be we should we be making any more walls? Well, let's have a look at Apu. There's two tiles that Ap Apu can be attacked through this very narrow passage. But that person also has to go through Canada. This is Canada's borders, so this is safe. Uh, this city is on the border. It's pretty not safe, so I'm building walls in here. This city will never, ever build walls, just because it'll take way too long. But I do want to get walls in here, because this city is just kind of dog doo-doo. Dog so the main defense I have here is diplomacy and having units in the nearby area. Really, the only city that's under threat is Hattusa. And I'm putting walls up here in Nekin, because I was expecting a barbarian horde to come. But otherwise, you want to get away with building as few walls as possible until you unlock the Limes card. So 
So you vote for yourself twice, and then you vote for city center buildings. This will make walls come in a lot closer. Vote for yourself twice, and you have a high probability to win. Um, low production cities. Having a slow start here. Uh, have you not had a slow start? Um, actually, I would say this is a pretty fast start. I think the last game we played, we had a pretty fast start, actually. We got ourselves online really, really quick in that game. Okay, so now we have a couple extra units to defend and just keep an eye out. So there is that scout that I was looking for. So now, since we have that 100% production towards buildings in the city center, we want to get as many of these knocked out as possible, starting with the granary, then the watermill, then, sorry, starting with the monument, granary, watermill, and then we'll kind of hold on from there. So if it's an option to build a building in the city center, we're going to try to prioritize it in our cities because right now we're getting 100% production towards them to the point where I'll even delay a theater square. Just because that extra production is so powerful. And then we'll chop one more time. So there's a barb camp up here somewhere that I think I can use a swordsman and an archer to clear. I think. I don't know. I'd like to know more about over here. Well, it's not vote for yourself and you're more likely to win. Oh, no. Don't do this. Okay, so that's Mavemba and Philip at war with me. You need to run away. Okay, so Mavemba and Philip will both come from the south, which means I need to redirect my army to the south. Um, as much as possible, these two guys still need to go to the north to clear this out. Thankfully, I also have 100% production towards walls. It might be worth my while to purchase a builder in here um, next turn to chop these jungles to finish these walls sooner. So we'll look into that. I don't know if you're going to survive. We have envoys. Jerusalem is at war. We'll hold on to our envoys. We're going to promote you with the researcher. Are you RT game? No, but I have a similar accent to him. His accent's a bit stronger than mine, though. Um, don't know, man. Just is the way it is. Can you escape out of here is the question. Maybe. Okay, walls are up. Lovely jubbly. Ancient walls are finished in here. Monument granary. Another settler. I think this settler will probably go down to here. Water mill, monument granary. Purchase the builder. Should be able to chop this tile next turn. Knowledge of construction, bam. Run away. You come to Swinette to defend that. I'm like, I'm just glad Norway isn't in the war, right? That's what I'm happy about. If Norway was in the war, I'd be a sad panda. All right. Did not expect crossbowmen out of the barbarian encampment. TBH. Let's make our way to our own crossbowmen for defense. First, I need to build a Mariani chariot archer in one of my cities. So if we harvest this, that'll finish the walls. Now the city is well defended. This builder will go harvest that stone to build walls in here. So this city is defended because there might be some units coming around. I'll be AFK one second. I think someone is uh, shouting up to me.
Okay, sorry about that. We're back. All right, let's see. Ancient walls are finished in here, so this city is pretty well defended. I would like crossbowmen. I'm working on crossbowmen. They're on the way. In the meantime, I do have 100% production towards these things. And I might hold off on building builders until I have feudalism, although I would like one more f builder. No, I would need two more builders. To get enough farms, that would be too slow to do it in here, wouldn't it? I might just hard research feudalism rather than build the farms then. Well, hard research feudalism, that'll be fine. You can't hear the background music? Let me raise it up slightly. It's very loud on my end, so I'm always very dubious about raising it too much. Is that better? Apu has only got two pop and no growth. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. Um, Apu uh, is going to have a hard time growing just in general. It's going to need a uh, trade route inside of it, which means we need to get the trade routes online. We have a lot of stuff we need to build. Uh, not a whole lot of time to build it. There's Toronto. So I'm pretty well defended in this war. So we're going to settle here. That'll get me a little bit of error score. So now is the time to build the Sphinx. And the reason now is the time is because I want Era Score. I'm going to try to get a Golden Age. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, but I will try. You go Granary Monument. I have a free builder here. I could actually use this to get farms. Now that's an interesting thought. Be gone, thoughts. Which would mean a builder in here wouldn't be so bad. And then I could get the boost for feudalism. I could have got construction in time for the boost, but I didn't. So I'm going to have you back up to here. I want that crossbowman getting free shots. The only free shots I like are when I'm out drinking. <laughs> Okay, so I think, where do I want to put farms? Oh dear, sweet baby Jesus. So you unfortunately are going to have to tank a hit while this guy runs away. What is your opinion on cats? Smelly, tricksy cats. They're just like hobbits. If bread is the first All right, so this city is well defended. So I'm thinking farm, 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 and then a fourth farm in here later. Farm, farm. Need a bit of gold for that. So crossbowman stepped into my territory. And I'll be able to get a shot on him. You're fortified to eat damage for me. You're exploring. Next turn. One man's okay, there's engineering. Is this is concerning. I want the experience on the archer, so I'll shoot with the archer first. Choose our research. There's engineering. I want to hold off on building this because I actually want to get my hands on a Mariano chariot archer first to get the boost. And if we research crossbowmen, we won't be able to build them anymore. You run away to there. You shoot the crossbowmen. You fortify to heal. Choose our research. Let's take a moment to research construction so we can build lumber mills. You come in here. I might be able to get Canada to declare war. That was not... I left-clicked. I hate that left-clicking moves units. Lucas Parks, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Love it better than the cats. Old SNL joke. Uh, Potato, why are you not using... Why are you using OBS and not Fraps? Because OBS is the thing that I have learned how to use. Uh, and Fraps is a really old piece of uh, technology. So I actually might not need to harvest here to defend this city, so I will probably hold off on that. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy and shoot there. We got the monument in Edfu. Let's work on the watermill and the granary. Exploration is happening. Farm. There's the boost for feudalism. 
probably didn't need this builder. Oh, right. That's right. Because I have a couple of extra farms down here. Ah, I could have skipped. I could have skipped this builder. So that was like a small, just like didn't look at the map properly error. I'm going to attack here, even though it'll lower the city's garrison strength because I'll get a promotion here, which will allow this unit to better defend the city. Uh, are the DLCs worth it? In my opinion, yes, but that's a decision you kind of have to make for yourself. So I'm going to take the garrison promotion in here so this unit can kill things more effectively. We now have our next governor title, and this is going to be Liang. And I'm going to place Liang in a city, probably Apu, in a city with good production that will be building builders. So it'll probably be Saiz. So where will my next harvest be? My next harvest will probably be up in Nekin, so I'll assign you to Nekin. Coliseum in here. So let's improve the iron. The city definitely needs growth, so I'll prioritize getting the farm triangle online. This is a flatland tile. A sphinx would fit quite well here, actually. So what a lumber mill there. Steam should be going with deep discount soon. Keep an eye out if you haven't purchased it yet. Uh, there should be, there was a discount fairly recently, actually, if I remember correctly. So I want to kill this archer before it gets to the farm to heal. I'm going to shoot that swordsman and then kill with this swordsman. <clears throat> now I'll take a moment to pick up sailing because I do have fishing tiles I can improve. Put a farm there, then a farm there. City ranged attack, shoot with the city, then shoot with the archer. Promotion available, excellent. What type of victory are we going for? Uh, the plan is a culture. That's the plan. But we're currently under a lot of pressure. So we just need to survive. We're, we're in the middle of an emergency war. I'm not ready for machinery. Let's go ahead. I would like to build an aqueduct to get military engineering. So let's just go ahead and get celestial navigation and shipbuilding. So in here we got all our basics. I'm going to build an aqueduct in here for the tech boost. And I'm going to put it right here because then there might be an industrial zone here. And I am going to want a couple of industrial zones in my empire. I'm very, very late to getting my theater squares. I should definitely have theater squares already. Just kind of had a, I had one of those games where it wasn't really like things weren't lining up for me in a very neat and tidy way. Let's go ahead and get Garrison. This is a defensive archer. Shoot there. And I might kill with this uh, swordsman. So I'm going to kill here and then damage here. Didn't mean to click on the city. Water mill completed. I'm going to attack here to kill that. You're going to shoot there and then the city will shoot there. We got the watermill in here. We have a campus. We would like a holy site. We would like our theater squares now as well. All right, not really amazing spots for theater squares. So we'll just pop one down here. Now my faith income is very weak and it should be much better at this stage of the game. So that is a bit of a problem that we need to fix. Let's make sure we buy this tile for feudalism so that we have massive amounts of growth in here when the time comes. Now that we have Celestial Navigation, we can go ahead and pick up Machinery because we're about to finish a Mariani Chariot Archer. And I'd like to also build a Sphinx if I could. Uh, do you play Civ for a living, so maybe not all that bad? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, the the choice is very obvious for me, right? 
course. Um, these are obviously worth it for me because I play the game a lot and I really enjoy the game. But that choice might, might not be as obvious for somebody else. So in this city, trade routes are also hugely important. And this is a plus five harbor. So I will prioritize getting the harbor in here as well since this will give the city growth. Let's go watermill into granary. You keep exploring for me. And now I have a chariot archer, which will give me some error score, which is beautiful. And now I will place a sphinx. Now, let's talk about where our national parks will be going. So I think... It's a bit of an unfortunate positioning, but right there would be a good sphinx. Because this could be this could be a national park and to that end right here would be another good sphinx let's make sure we get the kill on our archers fortify lots of barb crap to fight through yeah there's feudalism so that's going to trigger a change we'll plug in serfdom and now we can start building builders in here, ideally, will be where we spam builders. You're going to wait a turn, let him come to you. Now that we have feudalism, we're going to head over to Divine Right into Reformed Church. Reason we're heading for Divine Right is this is going to unlock the ability to get alliances. I really need you to not be denouncing me, so I need to know when that's running out so I can send you a gift to hopefully prevent... Uh, another war deck I also might want to get my hands on a navy even just the token navy might be enough to make him happy with me wait I was building a chariot archer in here did I just completely forget that whoops well I have two now making all sorts of mistakes Valletta not what I'm looking for I'm not worried about um, the religious units I don't have a religion and so that's not really a huge concern to me the emergency ends soon the nice thing is I will get a hundred diplo favor from this I should have sent you a delegation. That was a mistake that I didn't. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a gift of 100 gold. No, 18 iron. So that should be enough for plus 6. And then 40 gold should cover the rest. Canada, would you like to buy... You have all my strate you have all my luxuries. What about you, Packet 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 Chudy the Cutie? You don't have gold. I would rather get gold. Let's see if these guys will piece me out now. They're not willing to trade because they still think they can win the war. Okay. About to finish our first theater square. These are very, very late theater squares because there's already been a ton of great riders taken, which is obviously really bad because um, we're already in the medieval era, which means we need to absolutely shove production towards this. I might even run a project or two. So you can just auto explore now. I'm kind of tired of micromanaging you. Take the shot, shoot there, fall back a tile. You can't get the shot, but you can if you come over here. You might be able to nab that guy. Place the Sphinx, there's the plus four error score. Always refuse demands, never meet them. You're a poopy head, how dare you? Pinecone hat fulaldal. Get friendly with the Inca, okay. Friendship, delegation, open borders. And there we go. We have another friendship locked in. That's good. Okay. 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 
I want to get military engineering. I'm building the aqueduct. The aqueduct will be done in time. Excellent. Clearing these out. You can now come forward. I feel safe. Maybe tank up. No, our goal is to go for culture. That's the goal. I don't want to trade for that. Oh, I see where these are coming from. Okay, now this makes more sense. Okay, so we have all our basics in here. So there's a really good national park right here because I can do national park. So we're going to start plotting out our late game strategy. There's a national park that's like pretty damn good right here. And then I can do Sphinx right here for appeal and Sphinx right here for appeal. And this will turn out to be a really, really good national park. And then I might be able to settle another city up here to the north to chain together another national park. I don't know if Sphinx can be placed on Tundra. Let me double check that. They can be placed on Tundra, so that's great. So there will be a city going here. I can't put a Sphinx here though. I can put one there. But that's not actually a good spot for a Sphinx, is it? Far better, I think. To just put a national park right there. A Sphinx right here. And that's sort of the the plan okay we completed the granary in here i would love to build stuff but the big deal here is i need to get as many builders out as possible and so this is where i'm going to get them and i need to get them as efficiently as possible so in here we've completed the granary the city is slowly growing this is another place that i could get builders so let's get some builders down here too even if they're not the most efficient i need builders galore to help develop my empire i spent a lot of my early production not developing my em or rather on chopping to get settlers out so now i need to spend build charges on actually improving my territory <clears throat> knowledge of military engineering aqueduct okay so this city is going to get an industrial zone very very slowly i also got this bar barbarian in here just being annoying okay just kind of avoid those cities It's Crater Lake. I gaze upon the beauty spots of the earth and enjoy them. Uh, you need at least two appeal on every tile to build a national park. But I wouldn't consider building anything on less, on less than four, personally. This is like a personal thing. Of course, there's like a lake here that I can't cross. Nice one. The more science, it's all papers. I'm not sure what shot me here. So I'm going to step back to heal. Choose research. Let's go ahead and grab. So now... At this stage of the game, we're going to pick up printing and then head up towards the northern half of the tech tree. Well, northern half, the top half of the tech tree. Let's go ahead and pick up divine right, but we're not going to change our government until we have reformed church. Ideally, I would have built two markets by now, but it's kind of like just being caught in a war has kind of made that difficult. I might be able to get a couple of pillages here with my scouts, actually. Take the shot on you. Unfortunately, you have the garrison promotion, which means you're not very good at fighting crossbowmen. I like to say I... So my question is, can I kill... I think I can kill this. That is so aggravating that he survived. 
Holy Sites provide science adjacency is actually one that I want this game, uh, which is kind of surprising. We will just go to sleep for now. Right, we have our very first theater square. We want to get our holy site up. We also want to develop our terrain in here. Let's come here. Work the food over other things because we want to grow as tall as possible. I'd love to grab my holy site. Also, uh, Chris Brady, thank you for the $14.99 uh, super chat. I really appreciate that, man. Can't wait for Australia. Well, we'll be waiting a while. He's all the way up at J for John Curtin. John Madden. Um, now... Holy site. I'd love to get the holy site. Let's see. Are there any thingies I could build here? Not really. These are all coastal stuff, and I don't really have a coastal city. Are you going to talk about Coppa in a video? I mean, I think people are just overreacting. YouTubers with no education, screeching about government regulation. Um, I don't know. It has implications, but like... The only, in my opinion, the only people who should be panicking are people who already targeted their content towards children. Um, it probably will have basically zero effect on me. My content is not targeted towards children in any way, shape, or form. It's targeted towards people who play Civilization VI. There might be some very small overlap with people under the age of 13, but I don't think the, like the demographics on my YouTube channel are like 97% people over the age of 18. So I don't think it's going to like really matter for me. It might have a ripple effect on YouTube. Uh, so Rack of Death. Uh, campus Encampment Commercial Hub. Okay, I'd love to get my trade routes online. I also think it would be a good idea to start generating faith. Let's have a look at the religion that we currently have. So faith generation doesn't really do a whole lot for me right now this instance. But we are kind of heading in that direction of faith generation. Um, I would like a commercial hub. There's a plus three commercial hub right here. That's a good one. I'm tempted by it. So I'm having a hard time choosing between the holy site and the commercial hub. Or I, I think we're good on, on science generation. It would be good to make sure we renew our friendship here. Now, can I get alliances yet? I can. So with you... I'm going to go with an economic alliance. And then with the Inca, I will go with a military alliance. So that will give me a lot of these things. Man, this is a hard choice. Hard and difficult choice I've got to make right now. I think the right move is commercial hubs, because getting trade routes online is hugely important for Egypt. Now, in Swanet, I really want my theater square. So, theater square is like my number one thing that I need to get online. Um, I'm going to hold on to my envoys. That's you, dead. Fortify there to heal. You'll pillage that next turn. Thoughts on Frasier the sitcom? I think it's I think it was one of the best shows I've watched. I, now I haven't watched a huge amount of it. Um, that's so aggravating. I have to try and run this way. Um, but yeah, I haven't watched a huge amount of it. But the bits that I watched, I always really enjoyed it. I liked kind of like the representation of the characters and stuff like that. That they were, I don't know, they were just really good human stories. I feel. Let's get ourselves. We also want we want to have a bit of a navy so that Norway will be friendly when his denouncement comes up here in a turn. Uh, before the denouncement runs out, what we're going to do is uh, send him a hundred gold. He won't accept a deal. I'm going to give him a gift of 200 gold to hopefully bring his favorable trade deal so that next turn he won't chain denounce me. I might have I might have had to have done that a, a turn earlier, but hopefully this works out for me. Just avoid Jerusalem. If it's getting rather late to get a good benefit from those traders, uh, no, traders are always like one of the best things you can invest into. 
like and i mean that like quite literally like traders are always one of the best investments you can make uh, is getting more traders so That's a national park. There could be another national park in right here using only a single tile. So that'll be a national park. And theater square. Thank you so much, Mr. Terror M. Traders are like, there's a reason that double trade routes in the base game were very quickly patched out. So Harold doesn't hate me anymore, so now I can take a moment to get open borders. Do not declare a surprise war, so maybe we'll be able to get him to just get, just squeak up over to uh, a slightly better thing. Just have to go into full retreat mode here. If I get this boat out, maybe that'll improve his um, respect strong navies thing up that'll also give me more error score i've got 14 turns about still doesn't respect my navy which makes sense because like i don't know it's not a very good navy full retreat there's sumeria now the cool thing about sumeria is the very first turn that you can meet him you can declare a friendship with him for free. Not only that, but he also is a source of economic income for me because I can sell him this iron twice for 10 gold per turn, roughly speaking. There we go. Not only that, but I might have some luxuries. No, I do not. Okay. So I think a... I think I probably want to have like four galleys to try and get Norway to be friendly with me. I want to try and make the people who are close to me friend. Oh, I forgot to pillage this. Derpty, 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 do. Oh, I should have built a holy site for this guy. Yeah, this is flipping independent, which actually is really good for me. Okay, I'm gonna get an alliance with Gilgamesh too. Maybe a scientific one because he has a lot of science. I want to be trading with him if I can. Spain's taking shots at me, and the AI, of course, is choosing to target me over barbarians, and the barbarians are choosing to target me over other AIs. Really want this amphitheater? Alliance with Samaria? Yes, that's what I meant to do. Research alliance. Take a moment to heal. Okay, so he actually now thinks I have a strong navy, so I can cancel these. Right? Respects strong navies. Perfect. I've got two, ga two galleys in a lake, and that's a good enough navy for Norway. Hundred and sixty two gold, right? So I've got plenty of gold in the bank. So this is a big problem. And the only way to solve it is with military units. Ugh. Nice. I got killed my guy in one turn. Okay, so we're coming up against knights. That means we need crossbowmen now. Run away. Any other pillages we can make? Maybe pillage the furs. So 
This is so difficult to deal with all this stuff coming at me from multiple different directions. Need to change my government. I should have had the settler card out a long time ago. I completely forgot. I always forget that, dude. Ouch. I'm just going to have a guess at religious city-states. So that's what people are going to vote for. And I'll vote in favor of Catholicism. Because I see Spain might invest heavily in voting for that. Okay. This is a big problem here for me. It's just getting swamped. This is going to come in here and absolutely wreck my city. Joy, joy, joy. Happy joy, joy, joy. He's going to heal next turn and then pillage. Need to change my government next turn. At least I'm getting good pillages off. Yeah, the barbarians are always pretty wild. Uh, it's just because I have so much border to defend, really. Okay, so we almost have a golden age secured. Let's go ahead and plug in divine right monarchy. Um, get rid of settlers, plug in plus one production, plug in limes, plug in bastions, and plug in feudal contracts so we can build crossbowmen and stuff faster. So I won the emergency. They should now want peace. They don't want peace. Maybe they'll wait. Maybe it'll be next turn. So the big things I want to damage are uh, range units who can damage me for free. As expected, he got a heal. Can you join my war? Can you join my war? He doesn't want to go to war. Fine. First builder out in a poo. They went straight for my capital, which is really, really annoying. Get another pillage there. Why did I take Hattusa? Because the Congo was going to take him, so I sniped it from underneath the Congo. The pen might not be mine. All my farms are dead in here. Nice. Cool. My favorite. So now we need to pick up Siege Tactics all the way up to Renaissance Walls. I want to build those in the not-too-distant future. Catapult is a big deal. Are these guys going to, like, piece me out already? I'd really appreciate it if they would. What is this bullshit? Why is that? Why is the city? Why is this thing being repeated? <laughs> I 
Good God. I'm getting drowned barbarians. And in, in war. Um... The city needs help. I'm never going to get an army down there. And they're going to pass this form of war thing again. Oh, this is... Wait, this is Movember. Sorry, I thought this was against me. Hell yeah, I'll put that forward. Canada. I was I was confused there for a second. My bad. So how much money does Canada have? I probably don't need to give them much Diplo favor to take all their cash. I misread that. I was like, wait, why am I getting another emergency? I misread it. So, yeah, you don't have any gold per turn. I want gold per turn because it just it's worth more. Um, you don't value this, but this is a lot of gold. What if I give you like 50? Really? You Wow, this is a lot. Are you getting another city from the from Congo? Uh, yes, I will be getting uh, this city in seven turns. I need to figure out how to defend this city down here. It's gonna be tough because it's under siege and stuff. Wish I had that one dude, mm, Victor. Victor. All right, I've got our first builder in here. We can start to improve this city's productivity. Iron mine. Got the hiccups now, nice. I'm gonna vote that up twice. Maybe it'll pass. A nice little flood. So it looks like it passed, but me and Wilfred joining the war together. Which is great, because Wilfred's gonna hopefully pull off some of these units. Um, okay, so the big threat here are catapults, because they do full damage to walls, so they need to get it be, be gone, thought. I need another crossbowman to defend. Okay, you took flood damage, get back inside the city. Send envoys, nothing really standing out to me here. I don't even have my second trade route online, it's 120 turns in. This is just the pain of being drowned. I have absolutely zero tourism per turn. I'm getting absolutely smashed on great rider points because I can't actually get around to building my theater squares because I'm spending so much time building units and stuff. Probably should have went for theater squares first in these cities, but... Um, I don't know why you chose this as the route when this is very clearly faster, but okay. Try peace with Spain. He wants 53 gold per turn, which I will not be giving him. You have. Did you give him war exhaustion? I just can't deal with these barbarians. This is far more important. I don't want to lose Hattusa. Maybe a different victory type? Uh, no, I, I still think I can win a culture victory, but it's just like... Uh, it's going to be a hard win, right? It's just, it's just a difficult game. It's still winnable. So I need to get rid of these me uh, melee units.
Okay, melee units gotten rid of. More units coming in for reinforcement, so I might be able to defend this. Spain is probably looking a little bit more willing. He's down to 50 gold per turn, so he's starting to see that the war is turning in my favor. It's good, 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 good. So obnoxious, you guys running around up here. in my path okay the defense is going okay so I want to look for gold trade routes trading with Toronto would give me 16 gold I could get 11 gold plus a bunch of other stuff for trading with Montreal. And I think I'll take the Montreal trade route. This crossbowman will help here. God, I need builders. I need to build this as well. Need the intelligence agency. I will be able to chop out builders in this city, which is exactly what I need. Right. Head back up to the capital. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're doing fine. We're just like in a bit of a struggle some spot. We'll figure it out and get out. The big problem with these melee units are going to be a big issue for me here. Explosions, of course. Kill that. Step forward. Shoot him. Step forward. Shoot him. Take Arrow Storm so you do crazy amounts of damage next turn. Amphitheater. Unfortunately, I need more units. Get to work on a Courser. We'll switch the card next turn. Another builder chopped. <clears throat> Strugglesome, that's a word I made up. So we did secure the Golden Age at, at the very least, which I'm very happy about. You can't go around arresting the There's thieves. guilds. I mean... So we're going to pull out bastions now. It's not necessary. And we can plug in chivalry. Make a dedication. We don't have a lot of faith, so monumentality doesn't make sense. Reform the coinage does, because we have enough traders to make that gold worthwhile. Of course he would survive at 1 HP. Of course he would survive at 1 HP. Things are looking alright-ish for me. Want grants to get more great people points out of my capital. Still haven't built a holy site. Repair the farms. Yeah, what do you think this builder over here is for? There's Gorga. I found her capital all the way over here. Let's talk to her. Open borders. Delegation. Friendship? Nope. But you might buy my apples, my or oranges. How would you like to buy my wine? You buy my wine as well. How are you doing on strategics? You don't have any horses. Okay, you can have my horses. All right, so we just got a huge influx of gold there from doing that trade route. I'm going to swap these two crossies. There, this city is mine now. Swap you. Shoot there. Make sure this horseman never sets foot near me. Capture the city for plus two era score. Right at the start of a new era. Granary Monument. Uh, da -da. 
another builder out. Should have had Magnus in position over here, but oh well, that would have actually made this much more effective. Slight, slight misplay. I have two crossbowmen to help in the north now. Which means I can get back to doing the important things like theater squares. Let's go ahead and harvest that and put a sphinx on that tile since we may as well. I feel like that's a workable tile now. I'm um, just taking. Don't take. If if I pronounce something weird, it's almost 100% chance of me just taking the piss. <clears throat> you have a promotion. Kill there. You'll have a promotion next turn. Fortify there. Play it safe. So we defended Hatusa down to the wire very carefully, but that has worked out in our favor. I'm going to put a mine here. I have another scout down here. Did it get murdered? Pretty sure that scout got murdered, unfortunately. Damara looks like a dwarf. Change my mind. I'm not going to try to change your mind because I agree with you, Omega Lull. Okay, horsemen is a threat, but crossbowmen are also a big threat. So we always want to try and kill crossbowmen if it's an option. Where the hell is Valletta? It's all the way down here. So really, if anyone's going to liberate this, it's um, Wilfred. But I really just passed that emergency to try to get someone on my side in this war. You guys have swapped. Can we repair the walls in here yet? Yes, we can. It'll take two turns. This city doesn't even have time production. Ouch. Being caught into combat is like one of the most detrimental things you can do if you're going for a peaceful game. There's a Sphinx there. It's a workable tile. It'll give me my first little bit of actual faith. Improve that. You heal up. Come this way. Wait there. Still waiting on stuff. Do you know if a mod exists to generate the map without Tundra or Poles? I actually don't know. I can get in alliance with uh, both of these characters now. So let's go ahead and declare friendship, delegation, then Georgia. Okay, friendship. Alliance, cultural. No, I don't want a cultural alliance with you. You're too close. I'll get a religious alliance though, and you'll pay me. And then I'll get a cultural alliance with you because you're further away. So I don't have to deal with like getting forward settled by someone I have a cultural alliance with. Let's go ahead and get you to swap. We've repaired the walls. So now we have three shots in this city. Which means the city is well and truly defended. Spain, can we please have peace? So he still thinks he's winning. Don't know why he thinks he's winning. I think it's because he's been attacking me into my territory. And I'm not threatening any of his stuff. Generally speaking, if the AI gets a lot of attacks on your city, they'll think they're winning a war. Um, has I done anything on theme music? What's the mod I use? It's called Sucretax Simple UI Adjustments. Take your delegation, thank you. So I, I this is a very annoying grudge war that I'm stuck in right now, and I don't I don't want to be at war. I've quite frankly had enough and would like to be out of war. There's a courser to help defend. So finally I can go back to doing developing things that matter. We have an amphitheater in here. I'm super behind on great riders to the point where like we're already in the Renaissance era and I've earned zero. Which is really bad. And I don't think it's worth it to do a Theatre Square Festival yet. Well, it is. It is worth it. But then I'm missing out. Like, a Theatre Square Festival or a commercial hub, right? This is this is the choice I have to make. And I think it always comes down to, like, commercial hub. Commercial hub is just, like, way better because it gives me gold. 
Definitely want the amphitheater. ASAP. Repair that. Build your walls. Come over here, get these farms online. Auto explore for me, don't get yourself killed. We all know he's going to get himself killed. So I have luxuries I can sell. Let's have a look. No, I don't actually. Call me a liar. Definitely next thing in here is a holy site. Definitely. This is a very, very slow game right now. Sell Diplo favor. The hard part is... The people I want to sell it to, I don't want to sell it like for nothing, right? I want to get like good value. So if I give him a hundred, right? I'll say, well, you give me, he'll give me 51. Whereas if I go to someone like Norway, I say, hey, here's a hundred. What will you give me? 28. Like that's really not a good deal. You want to get at least 50 for it. So he doesn't even want it. I already had a, I had a look through to sell this stuff earlier. Like they're not willing to buy my Diplo favor for a price that I'm willing to sell it, right? So like, let's say I offer you 10. She'll give me six. Actually, six is a good price. So she will, she just doesn't have much to give me. Uh, Patch cutie. So if I offer him 10, for example, he'll give me six too. Oh, actually, I'm kind of surprised by this. So that'll be about 50-ish, 40-ish. 30-ish, okay, 20-ish, so somewhere between 20 and 30. So how much will you give me? Give me 61 deal. It's not a great deal, but it is a deal. So now I'm up to 200 gold per turn. Now... That much gold per turn means I could actually purchase the market and then purchase the trader, which would let me get my gold online much quicker and sort of start earning itself back. Uh, do you think it would be more, there should be more comeback mechanics where you're overwhelming ahead that actually feel like games instead of going to emotions? Uh, I think it would be okay if there were a few more comeback mechanics. I'm not sure what shape they would take. Let's take the time to get an intelligence agency. We can get our first spies out. We will be getting more spies here very soon. Once we have diplomatic service. Want to farm there. Um, could put a sphinx here. It's kind of where I want to put a holy site though. And if I'm going to put the holy site here, then the theater square will go here. Which will save me a build charge by harvesting that out. Let's just place these two. Let's get the holy site first. Aura. Uh, is it correct that the more favor you sell, the more gold you get? No, I don't think so. It's a flat rate. The AI will pay a certain amount per favor so if you give them 100 favor they'll pay 60 if you give them 200 they'll pay to 120 right they'll, they it's, it's a flat rate it just looks like you get more um because flat gold and gold per turn are valued differently so i want to look for maximum gold there's 29 gold trade route per turn which means this will this will pay itself off in roughly 20 turns the investment i did into that um, which is fantastic. So, like, there was a huge barbarian horde that came from the north, and now I have no idea where it went. Uh, I want to get kills on my units. I'll put a mine there, that's fine. Farm here. Lots of food. How do you save the build charge? The marsh was lost? Yeah, I didn't have to clear it with my builder. I was going to clear it with my builder 
So by clearing it, by placing a district on it, I didn't have to harvest it with my builder, right? That's how I saved a build charge. And the reason I decided to crush it was because the city's already at its housing cap, so extra food doesn't matter much. It's already at 10 population, which is like the only population you ever really need to get a city to. Repair the library. I still have room for a city up here, maybe a city over here and a city over here, so it might be time to look into settling again. So I put this Sphinx here because the plan is to put a national park here. But now that I look at it, would it be better to put it here? This might honestly be better. Where in Ireland are you from? I'm from Dublin, the capital city of Ireland. I don't like to commit myself about All right, there's theocracy. This is actually an important government to pick up. Let's pull out all of our cards. We're going to plug in plus two, plus one production. We definitely want limes. Then we are going to plug in conscription. We are going to plug in... Builder charges. And Republican legacy. Great rider points per turn. Because I'm really behind on that. Just to kind of help get us back up into the game, Great Rider wise. We're already into Renaissance Great Riders and we've earned zero of them. That's really painful. We've, mi we've missed like the huge window of when Great Riders are actually good. Let's pick up Diplomatic Service for another spy. Great City, love the brewery and distillery. That's a cool little tourist trap the brewery is. <clears throat> so now I need to think about where's my next city to build builders. It's probably going to be a poo. So, reassign Liang to Apu. Nice one, my favorite. Barbs out of the fog of war. Right beside, so this guy's going to get hit twice, which is going to be devastating. I'm going to step you onto the hill, step you to here, shoot there. Kill that. Damage him. Kill that. Fortify. 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 I'm in the Dublin. Hope to go to somewhere if the UK hasn't exploded by then. I'll be allowed to cross on the ferry. Are you from uh, the UK then, Anthony? Nice one. I'm already getting like I'm already getting spies on top of me, which is like extremely aggravating. I don't even have spies myself. I despise that. <laughs> In here, stealing my science. Being obnoxious. Thanks, Canada. Appreciate it, dog. Culture's looking pretty bad, but what can we do? There's very little available options to me. Plus one movement, put a mine there, put a farm there. So I have plenty of gold saved up. And it might be good to just get started on medieval walls in here and purchase my builders as needed. So Swanette could use a builder. Thebes could use a builder. This city up here could use a builder. The real thing is I need an army up here to clear all this shit out. Like, just actually getting time to get an army up there is, like, impossible. This place could use a builder. I have a copy of chocolate that I don't have online, so I will 
I'm going to purchase the amphitheater in here because I'll never get a chance to build it. Potato, I've All been playing alongside you, learning a lot. I got to ask, do you prefer to use industrial districts in every city or use six tile rule? Uh, okay, so uh, thank you for the five dollar donation, Donnie Will Williams. So, uh, it, to answer your question, um, when I build an industrial zone, the absolute last thing that I'm thinking about is the six tile adjacency when I build a factory. The, the thing I'm looking for is the power range. Um, is the coal, like, am I covering my cities in power? And um, so what I do is I build industrial zones everywhere that it makes sense. And then I also build them in a way that will cover all of my cities in power. I don't, I don't think about, I don't think about if I'm going to build it in every city. I, I think about if I'm going to build it in places that make sense. For example, over here in Thebes, it made sense. I was build I needed to build an aqueduct. I had a strategic and a quarry. So it was like, this is a good spot for an industrial zone because I'm playing a culture game and having a, a couple of industrial zones can make sense in a culture game, right? So generally speaking, that's the sort of operations I use to decide. Look at this party. Can I ask Canada not to... I could ask Canada not to spy on me, but that costs um, favor diplomatic favor right and i don't i don't want to spend my favor because i would much rather turn it into gold so now at this point we pretty much ignore the bottom half of the tech tree we have renaissance walls we can head up to industrialization so here's here's our objectives we want to get to uh, we want to get to education into mass production into industrialization into flight into radio into computers that's the pathway we want to take this is the predetermined pathway that I take every culture game because I just believe it to be the most optimal one. We have a campus. We have a theater square. We're getting close to uh, conservation. So that's something to consider. Uh, this city definitely needs builders. I also need commercial hubs and or harbors. I would love to build some of these, but this city is absolute dog shit for that. So this city just needs builders. So I will build builders. Not a fan of bush bills quite like Jameson. I, I like both. They're both pretty good in my opinion. So this city is production is so bad that I will purchase a builder in here. And then just slowly work on a commercial hub. And I think the commercial hub will go there. City just needs help. I'm going to put a Sphinx here because that's where a Sphinx is going later on in the game anyway. So I may as well just not put a mine on it and just have it improved with a Sphinx. It'll also give me a bit of faith, which is a yield that I am sorely lacking right now. And I had hoped that I would have more of at this point in the game. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a lumber mill here for the meantime. And rise and fall, you can move improvements later in the game to build that. Is this feature removed in Gathering Storm? No. This feature is in all of them. That's just a base game thing. Alright, cool. Do I want to purchase the amphitheater? So I'm finally ahead in Great People Generation. Just a little bit. Can you step forward and show me if the bird is the word? Who owns this forest? You do. So I'm really surprised that Spain still does not want peace. This might just be a game where I'm at war with Spain forever because I'm not willing to pay him off. There's another copy of chocolate. There's our farm triangle. This is a lot of flat land, which has been a bit of a detriment to me. Um, I'll admit that. Of course, crossbowman appears and insta shoots me. Of course, of course. 
I'm going to purchase the harbor in here or purchase the lighthouse because that's valuable and then slowly work on medieval walls the city will be able to build another district soon it really needs a builder but the money is better spent on traders right now I want to actually put my traders in a city that does not have a commercial hub which is going to be probably Edfu because if they are generating gold in a city that doesn't have a commercial hub that gold can't be stolen by enemy spies and get that fish online Does it make sense to put a whole lot of farms in here? Probably not. Probably better to do the occasional Sphinx. Even if they're not that amazing, it's a little bit of faith and culture. Yeah, we're still at War with Congo in the Spain, but we've been holding and they can't do anything to me, so I'm not worried about it. It's just kind of annoying that I can't, like, get out of the war. I'm going to put three envoys into Muscat. I might even put four to get Suzerainty. And that'll reveal a little bit of map for me. Got mostly good relations with everyone. Let's go and prove those. I can place you here. I want the shrine and the temple. I don't know if it's worth purchasing them. I have a commercial hub finishing. I'll want gold for that. Trade with Toronto for 22 gold. It's not the most amazing gold route, but I'll take it. Take a moment to heal. Place a lumber mill here temporarily. This will eventually be a national park, but the city just needs production. In diplomacy, there are two kinds of Could potato rename Ed Food to Tofu? Sure thing. I like that. All right, there's diplomatic service, which means we want to build a spy. We just got a spy in our capital. So who's making the most gold? You're making 192 gold. You're making two. No, 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 no. I meant to click cancel. Where's my spy? Cancel. God damn it. Misclicked because I wasn't looking at the button I was clicking on. I was using muscle memory to try and click it. Oh, well, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, so next important tech is... Civil engineering into conservation. Now, because I'm in the Renaissance, I want to start spreading out my investment into these guys. I'm going to go ahead and appoint Reina for Buto. Well, no, I want a high population city like Memphis. Thinks this could this is not coastal. This is lake, so this can be a sphinx. Harvest that to finish that a little bit quicker. I've got to renew my friendships. Let's do that now. Declare friendship, alliance, economic. Actually, you're the one who's at war with on my behalf. So let me go ahead and get a military with you. And then we'll talk to Patrick Uti. Friendship, alliance, economic. Seems good, dude. Is there an easy way to determine the best city for Reina? Uh, at a single investment point, the city you put Reina in doesn't matter. When I'm playing with the um, theocracy government, I get 0 0.5 faith per citizen in cities with governors. So I just want to pick a city with like a fairly high population. So when she's established, she'll start generating faith for me. God, I want to wonder. God, I want to build wonders right now. There's actually Petra still exists. This is like the worst Petra in the history of Petra. I would love to get Forbidden City. I would love Mont Saint Michel. I would love all of these things. But the production in here is just dog doo doo. Now, if I were to purchase a builder, I could maybe turn that around. And then after the amphitheater, what would be the most important one to get here? I think Forbidden City is the one to gun for. Amphitheater in here. Um, ba -ba 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 now this could be a Petra city it would need its own builder 
Where would I put the Petra? I think if I put the Petra on this tile, I can put a Sphinx on every tile around it, maybe. And that would give me some extra value. I'll need a builder in here. I'll probably transfer this builder over to help the city out with production. I should have placed... Okay, this is beside a river. I should have placed this beside a river. Because I have a 15% bonus to, to wonder production if it's adjacent to a river. So Forbidden City will go there. And we'll work around other issues. I want you to actually come over here and help out Swinette. Come forward. You finally get rid of these, these barb camps. Long last. Why not build the Forbidden City next to a theater square? I already explained it. It needs to be beside a river so I can build it faster. I'm more concerned about building it in terms of production and then surrounding it in Sphinx than I am with putting it next to a theater square. Theater square adjacency does not matter in the slightest, in my opinion. And so I never try to optimize for it unless it's like just really easy to. I want you to improve that. Uh, I understand this Petra City would have more than one desert tile. I know, it's very confusing. I cannot imagine it. Can I take any productive tiles from other cities? Not really. I could take that, and that'll help. I could move Magnus over here and harvest, or I could build quarries on these flatland tiles. I think I'm going to go with the quarry route, because otherwise these are just going to be zero production tiles. Uh, University Renaissance Walls is what I want in here. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Why are there just... I have way too many units spawned from these things, dude. Way too many units. So a whole bunch of military emergencies just failed. He just captured Vancouver. Oasis City in the Northwest. Yeah, there is potentially a city up here, but right now my priority isn't settling. It's getting my infrastructure online, purchasing a market, purchasing a trader. Now that you have your commercial hub and this, Probably not worth my production. I want to get my ancient walls up. I would like to get my holy sites up. It's not a garbage holy site in sight. I really want my holy sites. I want to put my holy sites next to a river because of my pantheon. So this farm can be cannibalized. That's fine. We'll put another farm there later. No reason to cry over spilt milk. Now, production tiles in this city are hard to come by. But a Sphinx will definitely fit there for later. Do you think there will be a third DLC? Yeah, I get asked that all the time and I'm pretty sure... I, I, I would... I would. I don't know if I would bet money on it, but I, I would feel pretty confident to say that I think there's a good chance there'll be another DLC. Alright, so... I need a builder in here and I can't afford to do anything but hard build it right now because my golden I don't have enough gold in the bank and this city has the production to actually build one although no it doesn't this city is dog doo doo production um, I think a holy site makes sense in here actually even if I was gonna put a sphinx there I need to get my faith income up it's about the time of the game that I should have a higher faith income let's see improve that improve that Ba bam These nice whale tiles. I'm trying to watch this while making calls on the ambulance is quite the time lapse. <laughs> oh right, renew friendship with Sumeria. Beautiful, he did renew that with me. I'm just going to accept deals now. I should really look to trade away my niter because I have a decent amount of it. And a, and a crossbowman, like... 
<laughs> just really pushing the definition of like giving me an aneurysm. Um, I want to spread out how many of these I have, and I want to put one in the face for the extra faith generation. Raina is established in here now, so I'm getting extra stuff from population. Lumber mill. It's a pretty slow Petra, but <clears throat> we might be able to make it. I'm going to buy this tile as well and then go improve it. Trade route for gold. Got a massive gold income now. I'm really, really happy about that. That means I can purchase things of need. Oh no, somebody built. Did somebody build the wonder I wanted on the turn that I was going to build it? Yep, that's exactly what happened. Nice. Well, Mont Saint Michel, I guess, is kind of a consolation prize so I'll take it what is going on get me out of this barbarian hellscape this isn't where I wanted you to be Tbilisi makes 200 gold. Cusco doesn't make any gold. 200 and something gold. Ottawa, 400 gold from Canada. That's definitely my candidate. <laughs> I'm going to choose city centers again. I'm going to put three votes in that because I really want this to pass as city center so I can build my walls really quickly and I'll vote twice for myself or two extra times essentially so hopefully this spread works in my favor really really hoping it does okay cool so I won both of those that's perfect that means I should be able to get my renaissance my renaissance walls with with limes really really quickly I don't think literary tradition matters anymore so I'm going to be pulling that card out uh, right now for 80 gold, I think. And I'll plug in Vissel Banking. Because that'll just make my international trade routes with my allies way better. So the big threat here... Is somehow the... Swordsman and not the Crossbowman. So now Spain is throwing warrior monks at me. Joy. Step you back for a promotion. You take that shot. The very first great rider. Beautiful. Who's getting the next one? Probably not. Me. Oh, look at that. I bought I bought I got a great rider and it lowered the price for everyone else, so they all get great riders now, like instantly. It's very aggravating. Okay, Out of this room. so there's our very first great rider. It's really, really bad that we're getting them this late, but there wasn't really much I could do about it. I tried to get to these as fast as possible. It just didn't work in my favor. Which is more of a plane playing as Congo or Australia? Korea. <laughs> when asked the question, like, which save is the most annoying to play against? The answer is always Korea. Where are these coming from? Steel gold from Canada. About time we got our holy site in here. I would love to build extra settlers. I think two makes sense. One up here, one up here, and one up here. So probably three. Let's make sure we lock in the good tiles. All right, I'm happy with that spread of locked in. Lighthouse, Trader, Ancient Walls. What do you got for me? Theater Square? You need a builder. So just do Renaissance Walls for me for now. It is known that 
We're down to 14 turns on the Petra, which is pretty... Okay. How can I open the info tab of resources in the upper right hand corner? I'll show you now in a moment. Let's renew our alliance with him. So in the upper right hand corner. Ancient walls in here would be good. Uh, up here, this stuff, you can go to options, interface, show yields in hood ribbon, set it to always show. Also recommend setting always in open production queue. Those are the two interface settings that I recommend to pretty much everyone. So we're looking for gold trade right now. That's perfect. Sometimes I feel like barbs need to be nerfed a little bit. Like, where are these ones coming from now as well? It's going to be on my farms too. That's so annoying. He's going to he's gonna move and heal off my farms every single turn. Amphitheater, go. Commercial hub, purchase the market. Can't purchase the trader this turn, that's fine. Work on the uni. Might be better to get the medieval walls first. Looks like he's plotting to settle there. I need a unit up here, but I don't know where the hell I'm going to get a unit. Swordsman, go. Ancient walls done in here, let's get a theater square. I don't want to place it on the coast if I don't have to, but I think I kind of have to here. The potential culture tiles I'm giving up, I'll place it next to the river. Because I have a bonus for building things next to a river. The world's greatest whaling monopoly? Hell yeah. We're whalers on the moon. Ugh. It's like no matter what I do, this is going to be an endless horde. I got rid of that one. I don't even care if I lose this. Alright, let's get a let's get walls in here. I need to be able to make these guys go away. Oh, I didn't even improve that because there's so many things in the way I couldn't see it properly. Operate at a higher level, go to the next turn. Ah, yes, I see you know your judo well. Get your hands off my... Barbarians! Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. Uh, right, ancient walls are in here. Really want my archaeological museums. How close am I to getting an artist? I'm really close to getting an artist. I'll purchase an art museum. I was going to purchase a trader. I'll purchase one trader in here. And then I will work on the medieval walls. Uh, at Jesus Christ, saying your name immediately before stating your question is necessary for the best quest question jesus christ how long has this war been going on <laughs> oh it's a good one it's a good it's a good one it, that tickled me timbers as a pirate might say a pirate would never say that they would say which torrent uh website do you use <clears throat> lovely more war great it's just very, very tiring to just constantly have war declared on you. It just gets old.
Like people mispronouncing your name. Like that shit gets old. Nidoros. Another promotion on that guy. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Dart Plagueis the Wise? I did, but I really, really want to talk about how I hate sand. Is there any way to win a cultural victory while playing tall? If in, not, what changes could make it possible? In my opinion, yes. It's just like not the super optimal way to play. Um, tall isn't. Tall, I think, is viable in this game right now. God, this music is so loud. Jesus, I have to lower down my headphones. I have very sensitive ears. What can be labeled? Just like I have soft hands. What? Who said that? Okay, there's our very first great artist. We'll teleport him to the capital. <coughs> I expect your devotion to become a tourist trapped in the middle of a war zone. Uh, do you mispronounce your name often, Potato McWhiskers? People do it all the time. All the time. Okay, I really want an art museum. I'm going to purchase that art museum so I don't have to screw around with it. And then I'll get to work on uh, the Renaissance walls. Now, when I, when I mispronounce things, I'm doing it on purpose. Porpoise? Uh, I'm doing it on Dolphin. Specifically for the purpose of being annoying. It's still a war with the barbs. Yep. Welcome to Barbarian Island. Well, Barbarian Lakeland. Got two builder charges left. Looped. I should... Oh, well, actually, this map isn't really that prone to flooding. So a military engineer city doesn't seem that important to me. That'll let him... Shipyard would be plus five production in here. That's a purchase for sure. So in the meme, in the meantime, I should get another builder. Oh, that was a hiccup. Ooh, could have been a sick up. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Pop that in there. I go to sleep. Have a nice night. See you later, Jasper Haster. Fuck you, whale. Fuck you, dolphin. Guys, I feel like dolphins should be a luxury in this game. When you improve them with, like, a late game thing, it gives you tourism. But also generates grievances with everyone because you're imprisoning a, a beautiful, aquatic, intelligent animal that should be allowed to roam free. Uh, shipyard. I was meant to purchase that. Let's work on the theater square. Gold! I love gold! Wanna just name that city Wales? I've got a better name. It's a colloquial name for Wales. Got him. <laughs> I crack myself up. Little dum, little dum. There's a good little farm triangle in here. Grim turd. Whenever anyone says your name in chat, I have to approve the message because because YouTube thinks the word turd is a bad enough word to censor and filter out. I just want you to know that. Is there any viable way to play tall? Yes, there's plenty of viable ways to play tall. I'm seriously fascinated by your lake whales. I'm also fascinated by your mom. Got him. Uh, I think urban planning is now kaput. I might go for triangular trade. I think charismatic leader can go. We'll plug in Visselbanken. We've also got lines of conscription. 
that's all looking juicy boosy gary juicy kabusi or something words and republican legacy is kind of like a no-brainer plug-in why why You're just going to delay my settler for a pointless amount of turns. In prison, I want to eat dolphins. It should be a pantheon, which gives you five extra food for every dolphin. Mmm. Sentient meat. Mmm. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and st siphon funds. I might actually try to steal some great works this game because I'm just really low on tourism considering the phase of the game that we're in. Run away. Archaeological. Purchase shipyard plus five production in here. City is no longer the bad. But you are still the bad. No, I stood in my own way. Oh yeah, I gotta renew my friendships before people start hating me! Petra is a brilliant display. Hey, we got Petra! Petra, 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 Petra. Petra makes me happy. Even if it's not a very good Petra, I wanted a Petra because it combines well with my Sphinx. Not my Sphinxster. <laughs> Keep it clean. New. I want to purchase a builder. I'm going to move Liang. Liang, you're being moved. To Swinette. It's time to get these walls up. Can't delay it anymore. Y'all have a great night. How dare you accuse me of having a good night. I've never had a good night in my entire life. Every night has just been pure, unadulterated misery. But thanks for, you know, saying it. Appreciate it. You're dead. Run away. Hey, look, he's coming into range of my city again. I'm going to kill him again. So the Petra summon should be punished for it. It's not that bad of a Petra. Let's be fair. Come on. All right. We met Mongolia. Hey, Mongolia. Establish a resident embassy. Declare friendship. Hey, would you like open borders? Cool. How would you like to buy? You have oranges. How would you like to buy my whales? I got whales for sales. You have all these things. Norway, would you like to buy my whales for sales? Gilgamesh, would you like to buy my whales? You'll pay quite a lot for my whales. Selling off grim turds. That's probably too edgy of a joke, to be honest. Mongolia, you have all the luxuries I have. Georgia, I want your luxuries. Trade you onesie onesie. Onesie, onesie for onesie. More, more. More, more, Mimi. All right, sweet. Thank you for your luxuries. Give me yo Amber. Everyone loves whales. Everyone loves whales. In fact, I'm the only person with whales, so everyone wants them. What about salt? Canada, you've got the money. How would you like 177 diplomatic favor for money? 
now my economy is pip pop popping off at 479 gold per turn the power of selling uh things of dubious value Ugh. i want them to go away i have nothing in the area to help Of course, he's standing on the all-important theater square. Oh, of course he is. I could one turn unit. I will three turn a crossbowman. I think I'm close to four, closer to 424 hour shifts called into my time. That sucks, Colin Suds. Everyone loves Wales, England. Press X to doubt. Don't you worry, Wales. I got your back, okay? Even if your language is weird and, and silly and looks funny and it's difficult to read. I got your back, okay? Welsh Brothers Unite. Siphon Fawns. Accept. 1,000 gold stolen over eight turns. Yum, 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 yum. Oh no! My unit was stolen by barbarians! You will survive for as long as you know how to not die. I know you'll survive. Something, something, words. Okay, I really want my archaeological museums online. How are we doing for great artists? Great musician is soon really want these walls built I'm running out of time to build them so there's got to be prioritized prioritized time for you look at those yields mm -mm -mm. and they'll even get better once we get natural history I, I think it's natural history I don't remember what the hell are work mutations Wales look silly says the Irishman work mutations mm. Uh, 160, 456 hours, first data game won this week. Nice, JL. Good job. I'm proud of you, kiddo. Buddy. Buddy old pal. I have around 1,000. I don't even want to look at the number. TBH. Something astronomically large. Something astronomically large. <laughs> word mutations. Oh, word mutations. Dark Age time. I'm okay with a little Dark Age, okay? Sometimes, maybe we spend a little bit too much time in the light. You know what I'm saying? Public works, Republican legacy, skyscrapers, production towards all wonders. None of this really appeals to me. I'm going to keep Republican legacy plugged in. Actually, Merchant Confederation is sick, nasty. <clears throat> Three points in Palanquin. Ba Bam. 500 gold per turn is pretty damn Tasty. Hey, you're not allowed to go that way. Medieval walls, Renaissance walls. We got the Renaissance walls in here. We want this museum. I'm going to purchase the archaeological museum in here and then slowly build that. I'm going to appoint Victor and slap him down in Hattusa. It's a nine pop city. Ah, uh, do do. Do do. Do do do. Do do. Shoot. Shoot her! Clever girl. By the way, like, if, if you're playing this game without having, like, hotkeys set for buttons, really recommend you put hotkeys in. It makes playing the game so much easier. The nice thing about not getting a religion is I have to, I don't have to give a single F about religion at all. Now, will we, will we be building industrial era buildings right now? The only industrial era buildings we'll be building will be like this kind of a stuff. So it's very unlikely we'll be doing that. So that kind of rules out, in my opinion, heartbeat of steam. I won't be doing two arms. It'll be either. Yeah, so it's probably reform the coinage. Yeah, it's probably what it is. Come forward. Shoot. Shoot. Save the builder. Ba-bam. Did our job. Amphitheater. 
attempt to purchase. Save gold. Just lost a chunk of cash from reforming the coinage going away. That's alrighty. Alrighty then. This guy's coming in to try to thwap my city. Would you like peace? Don't you wiggle your finger at me. How dare you? I'll bite it. I'll bite it off. Channeling Ace Ventura right now. Mongolia, no. Listen. We're supposed to be friends. Have a hundred gold. Maybe that'll maybe get back to me when you're feeling a little bit more friendly, okay? Spain. No, okay. Da -da -da -da. Settle in place. Delete that thing. Sphinx right here so I don't rem so I don't forget to put it there just so I know it's there later all of this will take a long time to build so I'm just gonna purchase it we're gonna work on walls in here and we'll also purchase the other things next turn why can't I put a Sphinx here because there's a Sphinx here I want it there definitely feel like the choke of religion lifted when playing the Congo Absolutely. I don't have to I don't have to worry about religion. I don't have to build holy sites unless I just want faith generation for for national parks. All right, we did actually get Mont Saint Michel, which is going to give us your embassy is welcome, which is going to give us another optimal place to put sphinxes. I will get rid of this mine because it's just more valuable. The faith generation now at this point of the game is actually quite important. Can I get another thing in here? Um no, I'm not going to go for St Basil's Cathedral in here. I'm going to get myself a builder. Sphinx it up. Do, 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 do. So I'm thinking if there's a national park going here, there could be another national park going right here, which means a Sphinx or here. Actually, this is better. No. This is better because I can Sphinx there and still place districts. Yes, 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 yes. Did he finally kill those barb camps? I killed one of the barb camps up north. One of. That's the problem with a theater square. The particular theater square strategy that I go for, you often end up with a very, very weak army. All right, Renaissance Walls is finished in Apu. Heh, <laughs> Apu. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <boo. clears throat> I would like to know more about the world, but more importantly, I need I need a trader in this city, in all honesty. So I'll just work on a builder for now. That's fine. The city... Sh I had great plans for this city, and I never got around to it. Ah, yes, Cat Burglar. Perfect. So I can steal some great works. This is a game where I think it might be worth it to steal some great works. Particularly great works of writing, because otherwise I'm just never going to get any. Settle on the niter so that I have an extra tile to play with. Come up here, work on ancient walls, purchase all the basic buildings, even though they are produced extra fast. Late settled cities need help to develop, so I think just purchasing those things makes sense. I'm going to send this builder down to somewhere else to help out. A tribal village up north? Yeah, but it's like right beside to a barbarian encampment. And I don't want to deal with the barb camp. All right. Wow. I have like the worst timing ever. He like literally swept, swept that up from underneath me. Plus one governor title. That is actually one of the best ones because now I can appoint my final guy, get some error score. Is Tofu the right place? Yes. Look at that faith income. We're pretty close to picking up conservation for naturalists. Renaissance walls. We've got a Renaissance walls in here. Do I want to purchase this? I think I will purchase. I want the commercial hub for trade routes. Also at the holy side. I think I'm going to prioritize the commercial hub. I actually have enough commercial hubs, so it might be better to prioritize this. Let's make sure we take that tile. That's a good tile. Those are, those are good tiles, Brent. Theater Square. Forgot to purchase the shipyard in here. Derp de derp de derp. Guys, someone remind me to buy the Theater Square in, or the shipyard in Buto when I have enough gold. It is about 1,250 gold that I require. 1,160. 
So in Mendez, let's kind of plan this city out. Definitely want a theater square, so we'll just place that down. Uh, we'll leave it just the way it is. Ooh, uh. There's a nice farm triangle here for Mendez, actually. Pink equals Canada. Canada is pink. Still Don Quixote. I know it's Don Quixote. Oh no, Mongolia wants to be friends. Ooh. Nice to meet you, Greece. Declare friendship. No, okay. Well, how about a re resident embassy? How about open borders? Shabam, shaboozy. How would you like to buy my luxuries? You have all of the luxuries that I do. You want to join my war? No. You do it for free, I would let you in, but only the cool kids are allowed in my war. Kind of not being able to make multiple alliances feels kind of limiting. I'm curious. We almost have a level two alliance with you. Working on it with you. Not with you. Working on it with you. Canada should be level two. Yeah. So this will be the most important alliance I have in the game. Because it will dictate a lot of stuff. Now, right, so we have a Holy Side Commercial up in Theatre Square. These are our three core districts. Any other districts beyond this are surplus or um, luxury districts, as I like to call them. So, for example, we could pick up, as a luxury, entertainment complexes to provide amenities. We could also pick up industrial zones as a luxury. Hmm... I would have to kill this nice wheat tile. Shaboozy. Shipyard in Buto. I don't have enough. Ah, Savannah. You were too, too low. You were almost right. You don't have the whale monopoly anymore? <gasps> Who had whales? You stole my whales. That's it. We're nuking Greece. It's happening. Um, industrial. Wait. Why? I really want an industrial zone. I don't know why. It doesn't do anything for me, but I just kind of want it. I might just throw down an entertainment complex like here. Because it'll hit a bunch of cities. It's my luxury district. We're going to harvest that to finish that quicker and then put a sphinx down. Ah, no, I was too slow to settle up here. Okay. Um, we settle here and here. I guess I could settle up here. There might be a couple of national parks. Link. Go. Shabazoozy. Alrighty then. Farm. You take both of these to grow. Is the tourism from entertainment complex worth building it? No, but the amenities make it worth building in the late game because you can give your empire a lot of amenities, which will give you a lot of nice yields in the late game. Amenities are worth it in the late game, in my opinion. Not really worth thinking about for the majority of the game. Nice, more things declaring war on me. Cool. Failed to steal in Quebec City, but was undetected. Those are not ideal outcomes for my spies. I want to get this set up for coastline stuff. I need more science. We've almost got colonialism. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Steal some gold for me, please, in Quebec. Renew alliance with Canada. I need to renew alliance with the Inca as well. We've just been at war forever, like... It's like, it just doesn't bother me at this point. It's like, whatever. Uh, Alliance-wise, I think Canada, I would like... You're still at war with some of these guys. I'll get the military alliance with you. Sounds good. Patch cutie. Give me your, 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 give me your... <coughs> Economic alliance. Now we can build a shipyard in Budo. Thank you, Charles. Good call. Boom. 
Probably could have done that last turn, but it's not a big deal. Renaissance walls, medieval walls, medieval walls. Ba bam. Put two in there. Take over Antioch. Reveal the map. Get more gold income. Since we were talking about trading for great works, how much Diplo favor would a great work cost? That's a good question. They're probably unlikely to trade them. Canadia. Well, Gorekia. Thirteen gold per turn. So he will do it for uh, estimating fifty, estimating forty, estimating thirty, estimating twenty-five. You know what? That's not a bad deal. I'll take it. It's not a bad deal. Just got a bunch of great works now for that. It's great. Heh. <laughs> got him with the great work. Double entendre. Repair that. Oh, there he is. Found him at long last. Alright, we surrounded this. What kind of map is this? This is a lakes map. Does population have anything to do with tourism? Nope. Absolutely nothing to do with tourism. With the exception of uh, the do, 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 this. If you have 20 population in the city, which is not worth doing, you will get plus five tourism. See, yeah. Don't do that. It's not worth it. Okay, we're really close to natural history, which means we can start getting archaeologists. I'm going to go ahead and hard build the archaeological museum in here. Well, actually, hard building it doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense that I can get it incredibly quickly. I already have a trade route in here. The only thing I'm missing is maybe a holy site on the river. Shabam. Ancient walls, medieval walls, please. Sphinxter. Do I put a sphinxter here? If I put a sphinx here, I can put a sphinx here. One, two, three, 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 three. One to the two to the three to the four. Sphinx to there. Where are you going? Probably over here to build a farm. I think you were actually meant to build a mine or replace that mine, but that is now your job. Go, go. Which is the best save for culture win? Uh, Greece is usually pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Redirecting to better defenses. Thirty gold per turn is painful, but means I don't need to deal with his shit. <laughs> and actually, if I do open borders, maybe he'll go friendly next turn. Actually, weirdly, Congo... No, you won't join my war. I was going to say, do you want to join my war against Spain? Uh, Congo, how would you like Niter? Why, you would love some Niter. Congo, how would you like a gift of 200 gold? Why, you would love 200 gold. Hey, Potato, we were supposed to buy something in Buto. Uh, I already bought it. It was the shipyard. Sphinx? Sphonx. Let's get ourselves a Sphinxster. Joint War in Pericles? No. Oh, were you guys panicking because there was like a hiccup in the broadcast or whatever? Archaeological Museum. We'll purchase it up here in your mum. 
Do-do-do-do. Could get St. Basil's in here. Doesn't seem worth it. I would have to give up a wheat tile and two mines for St. Basil's. Maybe I'll work on it in one of these cities. Farm triangle right here. For a poo. City needs help for sure. Congo, friendly. All right, we got an alliance with the or uh, friendship with the Congo. B E A, beautiful. I need another great art museum. Grek. Gib. Great work. Grek. Gib. Great work. I'm trying to cut down how much culture per turn he's making because he's going to be a massive pain in my backside to beat because he's making nearly 300 culture. So I need to like buy all of his great works if I can, which means it might be worth it to settle crappy cities or something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Wait, these guys can't both embark? Embark. They're just being weird about embarking together. Do -do -do. Um, so you actually built walls. I'm kind of impressed. Do you deserve an aqueduct? Do you deserve an aqueduct? Probably just get a holy site or a campus in here. Probably want to just get a theater square. For real. Put it next to the river, providing adjacency for a little bit of extra efficiency. Die, horseman. Every time I put it on full screen, that's weird. Your embassy is a welcome addition to my capital. I am being denounced by Greece because I bought his great works. That's actually really bad. Um, Greece, why do you hate me? Duplicates of whales. Uh, actually, I want to vote like one. One. My children need one. Okay, they voted against furs, and I have minus five loyalty per turn, which is actually a bit of a pain in the ass because I'm in a dark age, but I do get that nice growth. 21 turns on you, age ends in roughly that amount of time, and you're growing in population. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, so now we can get our archaeologists. I need to make a decision about hard building them and purchasing them. This city makes 20 production per turn, which means it gets an archaeologist in about 20 turns, which means it's absolutely not worth it to hard build it. Anything over 10 turns, I think, is too much. Let's take these round of muscat for the extra diplo favor. Farm. Farm. Put in a triple of farms here. Quartermaster. So Greek. The Greeks now will probably not sell me these for a fair price. Oh, actually, 18 gold per turn is pretty fair. Like 350? Wave your hand at me in reluctance. I'm trying to do you a deal. 390 gold for a great work of writing. That's actually a steal. I have to take all of these off him if I can. Hold on. 
I've got room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more. I just need to take them off him to lower his culture generation, so. We'll use, so that's four, five, six, seven. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let me do the math on this to make sure I'm not getting overcharged. Seven times 18. It's actually cheaper to buy them in bulk. Wait, what? Or maybe they all have different values. 18 gold, right? So 18 times 7 should be 126. If I, if I buy them all together, he gives me a discount. Hell yeah. All right. Thanks. Just filled up my entire thing with this. His culture per turn should go down. I'm now generating more tourism. I'm happy. In my nappy, clap your hands, etc. Filled out. Filled them out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that to me. You get to sweep by and just start pillaging stuff on me. Is that falling loyalty really anything to worry about in here? No, I already talked about it. It's not a big deal. I can just like literally swing one guy in here for a few turns. Pingala got neutralized. That's a huge amount of my culture and science. Absolutely just getting shit on. Make a deal with gold per turn, then declare war on them. That's dirty. I don't do that. If anything, I want to give them gold per turn and then stay at peace with them so they are disincentivized to declare war on me. So let's have a look at the tourism victory. I'm making 77 tourism per turn. All right, so I'm currently top tourism. It's just a matter of keeping on climbing and cutting this guy's stuff down. Uh, synagogue, 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 synagogue. I might need to settle more cities. See, these guys can go perfectly fine. They were just being big complainers. I actually might need more cities. This sounds crazy, but I need more cities so I can buy more of his great works. Diddle -oh, diddle -oh, diddle -oh, diddle -oh. This is the art museum. So I could safely build settlers in here. Or I could get more faith. Let's make sure we max out our faith income. Ah, poo. This poor city. It's been like struggling since the entire start of the game. Ooh, Hermitage. Now that's a wonder I'd like to build. Maybe not in here. Well. It's a 53 turn build in Thebes. I can get that down to a 48 turn. And maybe. If I can get industrialization. I can get that down to a more reasonable amount as well. Let's go for Hermitage. Let's see if we can pull it off. It's a 40 turn build. Uh, have you been developing Reina for district purchases? No. Uh, there just isn't enough governor titles to do what I need to do. It's an option though. Um, I need one governor title for this guy to take curator soon. Then I need... So that would be important. Then I would need one, two, three more. So I would need four more governor titles. Which means one, two, three, four. So I wouldn't be able to get that until I have democracy. So if we are going to do that, that'll be a while. It's an option though. I do like the idea. It's a good call. Gold income has crashed because all of our trade deals are starting to run out. Um, broken copy of dies near your central builders. Yeah, I should get that fixed. It's a good point. Good call. Ten turns on an art museum. We're close to getting another artist, right? Yeah, we're only a few turns away. 
put an art museum in here. Want to have a little bit of a mixture. Want to be efficient if we can. Now something we can continue to do is if Greece has way too many great works is like maybe we can like buy them all, right? You get me? So some of this stuff he won't trade actually. We'll trade this. So what won't you trade? One of these things he won't trade. You didn't even give me the Shroud of Turin. Let's have a look here. You are promoted with Cat Burglar and Quartermaster. I do have room for another great work of writing. I don't care about Canada's though. I want his. So, hey, what's up? I like great works. Why? Oh, he's not willing to trade the, ta ta trade the tale of Genji. Got it. I want to steal money or do I want to steal? I'll steal great works. Do you think uh, this game will end by midnight potato time? Oh, very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. There's, there's at least a few more hours left in this. At least a few more. Culture games take the longest, in my opinion, which is partially like why I like them, because you spend so much time like actually working with your empire and developing it and doing improvements and all that sort of stuff. Oh my god, all the pop-ups. Another great work of writing. Go there, improve, Please. thank you. This will take way too long. Agent was killed in Quebec. Quebec! Quebec -o. I apologize. I will cease operations. Hey, Canada, you know the diplomatic favor you just gave me? Hey, what's up? Give me your books. Give me your, give me your, give me your books. Give me your, give me your, give me your books. Okay, don't give me your books. Fine. Give me your money. So where, where do I want to settle in here? I think I'll settle once. I want to settle near this river, I think. So one tile to the... L probably on that snow tile. Snow tile. Shoot. Okay, that's dead. Did you ever play Lords of the Realm? Put the realm part of this battle, put the overall turn-based micro. I have not played Lords of the Realms. This will probably not be finished for a little while. Okay, I'm running out of ideas. Thankfully, conservation is here soon. And we'll be able to start doing forestry stuff. It's been a rough start, but we're making good progress. Gilgamesh, friendship, embassy, open borders. Thank you. And let's have a look here, culture-wise. We are... Slowly but surely... Building up tourism. Sp Spain is still carrying that torch for war. I'm not sure why. I don't know what I did to him. Maybe I made a pass at his sister or something, but he is real mad. He is real mad. Why are you not on Twitch? Uh, because my audience is on YouTube. So I was like, why am I forcing my audience to go to a different platform that doesn't offer me any growth and doesn't synergize, synergize with any of my other content? And I was like, Twitch is, in my opinion, a bad platform if you just want to chill and play video games and you're not already established on Twitch. And uh, so, yeah, I figured, why am I making people go all the way over to this other place? Right, so there's industrialization. Man, there's so many things I want to spend my money on. So we're going to go to radio, into computers. You mis mis mispronounced paella? Hmm. I'm pretty... Is paella a type of pasta? Sounds it sounds Italian. Or is that your kneecap? No, kneecap is patella, right? 
Mm, patella. Patella sounds like peanut butter Nutella. I like Nutella. It's tasty. All right, so loyalty has become a bit of an issue. Do -do -do -do. Pointless guy over there. Save the loyalty. It's fixed. Loyalty is a very small issue here. 1,000 turns. Man, I need more gold. How am I going to get more gold? Let's talk to... Apparently, one of my trade routes was pillaged. Wait a minute. Where is that? Oh, no. I had a, I had a trade route coming from this session. Double... L is sound pronounced by Paella. Paella? Ay, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. If only Digital Extreme started doing their streams on YouTube, I'd be free of Twitch forever. I mean, Twitch just doesn't really offer much to me. So aside from Twitch Prime, um, it just feels like. Like, streaming on YouTube, honestly, is so much simpler. I, I feel... That's how I feel about it. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. So we're about to get a massive boost in our tourism from conservation. Found this city. We built this city! Okay. On chicken nuggets. A city built on chicken nuggets would be a delicious disaster. Here's your research, culture, and production focus in any game without specialties. Uh, first city, what is your research, culture, and production focus in any game without specialties? That is a question from I shot with a 10 euro donation. Um, it really depends on it, it, it depends on so many different factors. It depends on the type of game I'm playing. Like uh, so if I'm playing a domination save, it's different if I'm playing a culture, a science, or whatever save. Really, it's it's sieve dependent, it's map dependent, it's situation dependent. Like the the opening strategy that I go for really depends on so many different factors that to answer that question is like really the 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 simplest answer is like um get more production and then get the things that help you win that's a very it's a very open-ended question there is an unimproved potato unimproved van there's my van i have van that is not improved my children need one where is it okay hold on wine inside egypt search one ah it's unimproved my wine is unimproved. You do become pretty dang toxic at times. I don't know, dude. I spend a lot. I used to spend a lot of time on Twitch, and who boy, let me tell you about Twitch. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Uh, people just like. I feel like on Twitch, everyone is looking for like interpersonal drama and like he said this this person's dating this person and it's like holy crap i actually could not give a shit about any of the cultural things going on on twitch and that's all it feels like the community on twitch cares about is like you're either in the drama game or you're a dead streamer and i'm like all right i'll just stream on youtube <laughs> see ya Twitch as a subculture has diverged incredibly far from what I, as an original Twitch viewer, I, as a Twitch hipster, originally started watching the site for, which was for like esports and, you know, interesting people playing games. Now it's all about drama, politics, all the stuff that I'm like, I want to get away from some of that. I only watch It Me JP and adult, actual adults. Yeah. 
Problem is, so many people are now like drama adjacent that I just like, I guess I just completely lost interest in like the whole thing. I'm like, why is everything? I'm like, it feels like um, the community, I don't know, maybe, oof. I'll say something mildly controversial. It feels like the community like almost rewards and encourages people to be fake and over the top rather than just being like, it feels like someone just being chill is like the lost art of being a chill ass dude is like lost on people. Everything has to be like, and even like XQC, as much as I love him because he's hilarious. He's like an over the top version of himself. He's like, doo -doo 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 and he's like just talking a million miles a minute, which is kind of himself, but he, he it almost feels like he's being exact. But you know, I'm not saying he's being fake, but I'm just saying like that sort of over the top personality is what's like encouraged and rewarded. And I'm very much so like, I'm a person who likes kind of like positive people who are just kind of chill and like the occasional throw out the occasional zinger like making fun of someone but not being too mean yeah it's just i feel destroying rainforest i mean i could do the whole over the top thing but it's just like why i stole the great work awesome and now i have access to the good shit let's take these tiles for my own Let's get rid of that lumber mill, go here, plant a forest. Thank you for answering my question in mediocre and CIV would love a tutorial where you don't go too fast but still try and explain for people that know the game but can't beat. King like me kill me er. Uh uh, thank you so much, I shot for the 50 euro donation. Thank you for answering my questions. I'm mediocre and Civ. would love to see a tutorial where you don't go too fast and try to still try to explain for people and know the game, but can't beat King like me. Kill me, please. Uh, sure, yeah, I'll definitely... I've definitely done a few tutorials like that in the past. I don't know if you're aware of them, but I've done games where I play pretty slowly. I'm, I'm always happy to answer questions too. Uh, unless I'm in a bad mood and then I'm not. Everyone makes fun of the over-the-top stuff from Nakey Jakey to Donkey. I like Nakey Jakey. Nakey Jakey is great. I watched him before he was super famous. I watched him for his music. Uh, streamers on YouTube. Gamers. Streamers on Twitch. Actors. <laughs> I just completed the Germany Science Game of Duty. My first daily win. I got plus 77 hands. And nice. Recovery videos are really, really great for that. Can you farm snow-based volcano tiles? I'm pretty sure you can farm any volcano tile. I, mean, I can't show you here because these are all outside my borders or have exclusive uh, things on them speaking of parasocial relationships you ever hear about the japanese idol culture some people talk about it over on the rlm subreddit what's the rlm subreddit reddit is it the... i know it's like pretty crazy in japan and korea like really bad like to the point where it's actually like almost encouraged by like the corporations who like own these poor girls that they're not allowed like have pu boyfriends publicly it's like your entire life is controlled so i i just really don't like the idol industry actually if i'm if i'm gonna answer that question just straight up it's like just it's just kind of a gross thing to me that doesn't appeal to me in the slightest um let's go ahead and purchase um i think i i think it's just bad for people in general and it's really bad for the the women and girls who are in that position. I, I just don't think any I don't think it has any good outcomes, just thinking about it. I think it's a huge public cam I think there's a lot of cam and reasonable esport only gameplay person, but you're definitely right, there's a huge demand for human trash there. Well it's not it's not human trash, it's like if you're like on Twitch, if you're not like some crazy superpower, amazing godlike person at a video game, or you're not an over the top personality, your channel's just not really gonna grow. Um, the only people who grew on Twitch based on some stuff that I read were people who also had YouTube channels. So I was like, wait a minute, why am I trying to grow on Twitch when it's literally impossible based on this data when I could just stream on YouTube and get, you know, the sort of double whammy of streaming on YouTube and making videos and all the, you know what I mean? So I was like, it just sounds like this is just a way better deal for me. Uh, so I kind of want to steal great works. Steal the chalice. I might go ahead and siphon funds because gold is kind of tight for me right now. I know I'm making 250 per turn, but the amount of gold that I need is astronomical. 
Ha, he said ass. Yes, Chad, I did. Naturalist, create. There's our very first natural park. National park, rather. Beautiful. Okay, so there's a national park. Wonderful. We're now making 150 tourism per turn, which is a pretty happy amount. And... Potato. Oh, okay, I got a lot of questions here. Living viable. It looks like tiles are split between two cities. The tiles were split between two cities, but I put them in one city. Uh, don't go too fast in a super fast rapper voice. Is that even viable? Uh, I think there's a lot of common reasonable east border. From Potato. I was just wondering which server would you like to see? Which server would you like to see in the next expansion? What? Uh, Scythia series, like a couple of months ago. New player playthrough that was. RLM Red Letter Media, the reference is a movie Perfect Bloom. Also in reference to how Pink Plinket Red Letter Media would say, watch your content, but we aren't we aren't your friends. Uh Yeah, I think that's a pretty reasonable position. I think it's really just about like making sure the boundaries are okay. Like here's the thing. If if I'm at like an event or something and someone who like watches my videos wants to come talk to me, like that's totally fine. It's kind of like, that's kind of like socially expected, but like there's a difference between like coming up to me at an event and then like calling over to my house. That's like, you've gone beyond a boundary. You know what I mean? Like you, that's not the kind of relationship we have. Like I know people who could just call over to my house and it would be totally cool, but that's because I know those people for many, many years. Right. And so that's just kind of like, where the line is for me, I guess. Uh, and I guess everyone is kind of free to draw their own line as well, I guess. It's a fair thing to say. Um, don't Fortnite keep in the actual child outside of the actual gamers. Uh, heroic Age. Heroic Age is possible, but unlikely. So I definitely want to put... Oh, uh, this coal is killing me. Why? I already have 12 cold per turn. I don't need to do anything about that. I want to purchase a builder in here. I'm going to purchase myself another naturalist. National park in there next turn. Then we'll also put forest down in there as well. I'm going to send these builders up there to do that. So I shouldn't be looking in your window? No, Stitch. Actually, you're allowed. <laughs> I've known you for a long time. You can lick lick my window if you if you want. N never mind look in it. Oh, that might that might have been like a bad incidental window licker joke. My bad. <clears throat> your opinions are Remove that disgusting mine in space? Why? Uh, okay, so I would like to start trading with multiple different people. Spain, for the love of all that is holy, please take peace. 21 gold per turn. I'll take it. Whoo! Here, take 200 gold and piss off. Mmm, tasty window. Rename a city to James. We did that last time. We need a new meme. It's already been done. We need new original ideas. No. 20 more turns until I might be able to get him to be friendly. Spain is already friendly. Look at that. He doesn't even hate me. He's just a jerk. Instantly becomes my friend. Nice meme. Uh, so who am I not trading with? That is an important question. So I'm trading with Pachacuti, Canada, Congo, and Harold. Who can I reach? Your mom. Got him. So I want to trade far away, ideally, like Quila. And that might extend the range of my possible trade routes in future. 
think trade routes go too slow. They should be way faster. Should be based on the age. Um, because their kind of main function of extending your reach through trade routes doesn't really work very well. The Iron Mine, which is, hmm. Can mountains even get bad adjacency? No. Which pantheon did you choose? I chose the one that gives me plus two f uh, housing and plus two amenities from holy sites adjacent to rivers. Look at those great works. They're great. Hey, what's tonight's conspiracy theory? <clears throat> chicken nuggets are actually the real version of chicken. Chicken breasts are, are reformed chicken nuggets. You heard it here first, folks. Okay. Um, I'm going to hard build an art museum in here. Art museum, art museum, art museum. Could I have another one yet? No, i got to wait for that to be built. Do -do -do. I never built the walls in here. So now we want to get urbanization next because there's an important card on urbanization. Rename the capital to Blarp. My Schnoople. Got it. Chat's weird, man, sometimes. Just weird people in there. They gotta oblige them, though. They're the ones who pay the bills. Late game enough. Don't we want to handle trade routes every other turn. Now might actually be a good time to call this stream. So I'll put one great work in there. I'll move one great work out of here. And then to finish this tomorrow. Because we're about halfway through the game in terms of hours. Right? What do you guys think? Maybe call the game here. We'll finish it tomorrow. I get I go to sleep nice and early. Get some rest in. Get some R&R. &R. Do pirates get R&R? &R? Hmm. The questions of our time. Chicken Nugget Army. Mm, chicken Nuggets. Name one. England is my city. What? Is that a meme? You guys know that um, Jake Paul or those guys or whatever. Those two guys act like idiots on purpose, right? You know that, right? I hope you guys, like, please tell me people know that, like, the, the Pauls, Jake Paul and Logan Paul, are actually not dumb. They're actually incredibly intelligent people. If you, if you know where to find the right stuff that they do. And they just act like complete doofuses purely because the news will report on it and give them, like, the free marketing and, free, and earned media and, like, just make their brand go insane. The most, the, the best thing people should have done is just to ignore them. <laughs> the biggest mistake was people started paying attention to them and just made them literally millions of dollars. Uh, don't be a fussy potato. Win before two hundred. I don't think I'm gonna win. What time tomorrow? Uh, somebody asked. Ah, uh, do 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 do. I don't know. Tomorrow's Friday, so we gotta get down on Friday. I'm not sure what time it'll be. It'll probably be around about the same-ish time. So that would have been four hours ago now ish. Might be a little bit earlier tomorrow. We'll see. But I'd say we're about halfway through this game in terms of time. So that'll give us a nice four hour stream tomorrow to do. And I'll also be able to crank out some other stuff too. Um so we're working on Hermitage. Got a pretty good faith income actually this game. Surprising I'm actually kind of surprised. I feel like skipping a religion is pretty strong in a culture game because it allowed me to develop my empire in the right direction and then I didn't have to worry about wasting faith or production on faith early game and, and like keeping my religion. And then I could just generate tons of faith later in the game. Although now in fairness I'm playing Egypt and they have faith bonuses. And then use that to just purchase a whole bunch of national parks. I'm actually kind of running out of not running out of room, but there's, there's a potential for me to run out of room here for national parks. 
There's another one right there. Beautiful. I will want to harvest that, though. Uh, let's see here. Hey, man, could you do a Friday blog of you eating breakfast? Sure. I'll do it on my Instagram story. Potato Earth is flat. Go. The Earth is clearly flat. I don't know. It just depends on which dimension of analysis you're looking at. But it's also clearly spherical and three-dimensional. Technically, 11-dimensional if you're up to date with the modern physics. Anyway, look, I love you all. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go ahead and just quickly save this. This will be... Uh, Egypt. Egypt. AZ. Day one. Da one. Day one. And we'll draw ourselves a little picture and then play it out. It's going to sketch something. Kind of just drawing a rectangle. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. Okay. Sometimes it's hard for me to find my mouse on this screen. This will be a tombstone. In the name I don't like it. With a runic script. That looks just regular enough to almost be riding. Ah, too big. Perhaps there will be a hand. Coming out of the ground, Halloween style, you know?
Got to make it look sketchy. Hold on. thing in the background that kind of comes out this way. Drawing with a mouse is hard, dude. The zombie is Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> How topical. Oh, no. My sense of perspective is all sorts of messed up in this thing. But that's fine. This is like, this is leaning the wrong direction. This thing over, this thing over here. It should be like leaning that way. It's like just all it should be more upwards that way it would look more proper well, more like that ish it's fine it's meant to be an unsettling issue uh, image this would be double layered marble we can say it's intentional to make it look more eerie that i fucked up the perspective <laughs> Listen, I haven't done art in a very long time. And I'm using suboptimal tools. Potato McRoss. like some kind of demonic symbol crack opening up on the ground the moon lies in wait for your soul <clears throat> And then every demonic evil scene is in need of a title. It's a title. Oh my God, what did I do to this leg? It's a title. Everyone loves turtles. There you go. That's it. I love you all. That's my art for tonight. I'll see you next time. Let's save this as. I have so many of these pictures. One day we might put this together in a video and be like, here's all the art I, I, I drew ever. So this is 2019, 11, 21. My desktop.